my oh, goodness. You're gonna, and you're going to film this thing. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. Are you gonna Look f- who's here. To. You're going to film this thing? <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to film. Wait, let me get me now. This is the uh, last surprise <laughs> yeah. of the day. Oh, Everyone yeah. Their mouths he's, will be wide open. Andrew Dice Clay. I don't care, but I'm just saying. You, you, can, you can film uh, Sam filming you. See, now they're filming each other. <laughs> they're filming each other. That's cute. Yeah, I just like getting a little bit. Aren't we supposed to, go. like, aren't we supposed to fight? In a minute. How? <laughs> Wait, we got to say hello first. Watch how we get to do that. How do we say hello? Watch this. Watch this. Watch what I do. A hug? Oh, no, no, oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Look at that. Do I look oh, behind me? Then I get, no, look at me. So good. Hey, how are you? All right. Uh, a little, little camera. Know. Yes, you do. In right. studio, Andrew. Uh, Andrew. Andrew. Nice Clay. Hey, hey. Andrew, how are you, Andrew? Over here. Over here. How are you been, guys? All right, now I can shut it. <laughs> you got to hug Kenny, too. Oh, yeah, Kenny. Hugging Kenny. Hi, hi dice. <laughs> 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 Fucking Kenny. <laughs> That's the first time you've seen Kenny in how long? Uh, Three, four years. Yeah, I haven't seen you in four years. No. Jimmy saw God your... damn, that Jimmy long. had lunch Wait, with you like yesterday. Coffee. What do you want yep. me to say? Um, yeah, that's good. There, Don't matter. No matter. Uh, All right, I'll shut this for now. You got to see what it looks like, though. That's a good camera. Dice, yeah, right no, off the I bat, I noticed you uh, lost weight there, my friend. What's yeah. that about? I don't You're know. You're in the cage? That's right. See? I'm in the cage. <laughs> in the you cage. Yeah, boys in the cage. <laughs> Pays off. That would have been a whole issue. <laughs> All right, let me shut this for a little. Can we shut our camera off, too? No, you don't have to. Get, how am I going to do what I got to do? I don't know. Oh, just waking up. Yeah, huh? All right. So how you doing? It feels like a court case. <laughs> doesn't it? I know. You know what I mean? It's like a court case. Yeah, Are all the lawyers here? here? Are Who's all the attorneys it? here? Yeah. All the attorneys yeah. present? <laughs> Club Soda that. Kenny, who uh, worked for you for forever. Yeah, he, he knows I don't like nobody behind me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Especially Kenny, him. Everyone? I didn't know. I didn't know he was working up here though, till last night. No. Seriously? Yeah. You yeah. know, Norton. I, I got to start by these proceedings <laughs> <laughs> by saying, you know, of course, it, no matter what goes on up here, right? Good or bad, right? Norton's to blame. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, because I, we had yeah. we had a nice talk yesterday afternoon. And he said, you you need to stop by, and you were man enough to stop by, which I think is really, really cool, actually. Um, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you. Uh, well, did you just get here? Yeah. How many minutes ago? Like f- 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. No, we figured it would we be We did better. the other thing. We did the other thing, but we figured we'd do be... the other thing there, and we then figured, we come here for this thing. We figured it would be better over here because we could go long form instead of yeah. like, oh well, we're having a moment and it here. Is cool but we got it is relaxed. We got to fit the commercials yeah. in. What happened was uh, Jimmy got you for the HBO show he's doing. Yeah, and, very exciting, by the way. And uh, down and dirty. And finally, sure. Yesterday on the way home, I I talked to Jimmy. I'm like, it, that was the only part that bothered me, though. Well, you what? know that, Anthony. Well, what? Well, the the filth part of the HBO show. Oh, yeah? They're making me do some of the off-color stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. That bothers you? I got to go back to that. <laughs> yeah, he tried but a I'll... clean set. It wasn't very yeah. good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an exciting concept, though, don't you think? I mean, before we talk about anything. Yeah. Like, what, d- doing clean sets? No, the, the whole idea of the show. Yeah, hell yeah. Do you know about it? I've heard something about right. it. You know. All right. You know what? This a, is why he's a, I don't talk to you. It's one of Jimmy's no, things. No. Eddie, if you're not involved in it, you don't care. Anthony's. That's Anthony, what it is with him. But Anthony's I'm in, in a love. whole new world Anthony's right now. Anthony's in I know. Right You've now. been through it. I know. Oh. Yeah. Single now, Dice. So, you know. You allowed to talk about it? Now yet? it's just all. Oh, yeah, I talk about already? everything. No, this oh, really? Is, yeah. No, no. Now I'm single, single. I'm yeah. single from that. Oh, you mean you went the through girlfriend. another one? Yeah, not a marriage or anything. No, you yeah, never do no, that everybody twice. does that. Yeah, so I was going out with that girl for, you know, you met her. You, you become bulletproof like, on those things. Eight years. After a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I break up with somebody at nine, I don't mind going with somebody by nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just what I've become. I, I don't even understand it myself. Yeah, there's no... You know, uh, my ex-girlfriends, they go, how can you go with somebody else... You know, so quickly, I go, because we're done over here. <laughs> yeah. w- w- what am I waiting for? You know, because, you know, women have the thing 
about like they go through a whole period of uh, they don't want to know from guys for a while. Yeah. You know, and then they just start putting it out there again. Like after a year, what 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 is the wait for? <laughs> what does the wait mean even? Proving I, you like the other person? I think it's a good thing for most girls because it keeps the guys from killing them. You know, if the guy finds out the next day no, she's out fucking... No, but the guy moves on. Guys the guy have moves a way on. of just yeah. moving on quick. I mean, really just fucking quick. Yeah. Girls That's, have the potential yeah. to, though. A girl could be out that night. She's just got to be at a bar and it's over, Johnny. Yeah, but that's... But they have that emotional thing just yeah. going like... It's a different oh, kind of girl. Wanna... Yeah. That's not the girl you went with for eight years. No, no, no. That was, you know, eight years. Long relationship. But now I'm out of that. So now, you know, I'm on the prowl. <laughs> you hear? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... This the, is, per, the proceedings. This is more fun than I thought already. Well, <laughs> the proceedings. Nah, it's not, I, we don't want it to be like that, but... No, I don't want it to I, be like that. A, after the show yesterday, I go, Jimmy, you know, I think it's cool you got dice and all that, but uh, we still, like, have, like, issues. And and Jimmy so and I walked home. this is more home. therapy than anything else. I don't know what it's going to be, but Jimmy uh, and I talked all the way on the way home. Like, you know, I, you put me in a tough spot because, you know, we, we, were, we were all friends back in the day. And then something happened that, I can to this day... It really makes it sound like a long time ago. Well, dude, I haven't seen you in four years. Easily. Maybe longer. Yeah, but back in the day sounds back like in the you're day. 110. Back in the day is a long time. That's like the 80s like back the in the day. Beats back in the day. Well, when you go from <laughs> no, being, being close and uh, and having phone conversations every day to, you to know, nothing. To nothing. So I go, Jimmy, I said this for Jimmy. I go, look, I'll be all right either way. But if you're doing this HBO show, you you know, there's issues with Dice because the, the, it's not going to be fair to Jimmy because the fans are going to be a little weirded out by the whole thing. I'm not saying they would boo or anything. I, I didn't want to go down that road, and I told Jimmy, and Jimmy knows that. I go, but there might be a weird atmosphere when you guys are taping this HBO thing, and well, let's see if we can work something out. And me and Opie talked on the way home, and I was like, you know what? Because I've been going through something with my relationship falling apart. I'm like, I, I really am a dummy. Like, I didn't, I, I'm like, oh, yeah, there was a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I mean, it was a, a lot of it. And uh, I'm, I'm so stupid. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about the stuff that was said on both sides. And uh, so Andrew and I talked yesterday, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I didn't take it lightly what he was saying. Yeah, you no. know, I mean, I might be, you know, not, not no, very hardcore right now. I believe, but, I believe Jimmy, when he said that you were having some serious moments at uh, yeah, yeah exactly. it was like a real nice talk. We, we spent a few hours together at, at the Brooklyn Diner, and it was like a, it was nice, man. Yeah, mm. for, you have a forty dollar pot pie. Yeah, it was <laughs> fucking expensive. place. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, and I, and I, and I'll be honest. A lot of this is the fun part. A lot of whatever you said in retaliation to whatever I said. Right. I can't really attack you on because I didn't hear it. Right. See, that's the beauty of not having a radio show and not being hired anywhere. Right. Because I'm I'm not listening. Yeah. It's that simple. I, I would hear that you said things, but I don't have quotes for you. Right. So I lose on that end. Well, I got a, I got a million of them. <laughs> no, no, I know that. I know that. But so do I, because you know how I get. I don't you know? know. But the one thing, you know, and I'm not even going to say what it is. Wow, wow. You know, the one thing I do want to bring up that we, we spoke about was something that was said on Howard's show, but it was not about you, and it wasn't the only something. No, it wasn't something. I. It's nothing I even, it's not like where I ever go, which is something even Kenny would vouch for. Well, let me. With, uh, and you know what it is, and I, no, I don't no, want to say it here because no, I, gotta, I don't do that stuff. But That's I do got I I to bring it up because I, I do have to say one thing, like, you know, I take my shots. You obviously take your shots, and and in a way, I understand the the overall picture in the game. Like when you know some of the stuff Howard says, I was like, well, of course he's going to say that type of stuff because we say the same shit to him, right? No, but this but, is this. Is, let me just say the, this: the but whole what, the whole uh, dead dad stuff is like completely but that's not, unacceptable, and a lot of people felt like you were involved. With no, that that's when not Howard my thing. Was saying some crazy shit about you know what? If number one, if I did say my it, dead dad, if I did say it, I would you know. I'd probably sit here and apologize that I was crazy and at the moment said... A lot of people just, perceive that you were, like, right in there with uh, with that whole material. No, I'm, I'm just I was angry because I, I know what I was yelling about on that show, about you, but that's not where I go. It's not where I ever go, I, and it's just not it's just not who I am. 
I'll say filthy things. Uh, you know, I'll attack you personally, but never ever do I go there. Right. It's just not who I am. And you would know that just from all the conversations we had through the years. Right. You know, so... Well, we got yeah, the audio clip. We could, uh... You, you know what? If, <laughs> if you wanted to play it, I, I really don't care because... I don't, I, I'm curious to see how it was now. E-Rock, did you listen to it? Oh, stupid E-Rock. I don't know. If we, if we play it, it could get weird. Yeah, you know what? Don't even play it. Um... I yeah, because, and, and the reason I don't want you to play it is more for you than for me, because that's a subject. It's serious. A, it's, it's a very... It's a bad look, one. I know what you went through, you know, which is not why I was ever angry at you. I mean, that was a time I really wanted to talk to you. I don't know why we didn't talk. I was trying to, but I just can't even imagine going through something like that. So I know you had to be just somewhere in space. Right. And, you know, I would tell Pete, you know, right. that when... Opie gets a chance, have him just call me. I just want to give my condolences. Why don't you for that. call me personally, though? I tried to you call you. All the I, time. Didn't, I didn't have a number to get you at that time, and I kept telling Pete this. You might have had you my know? old number. Yeah, I, I mean, was out of that situation. But it's, it's just something I don't but make let me, fun of. Let me go back. Know? Cause even, even when hold on, hold on, hold wait on, wait guys, let me go back. You could go I, back. I, I can set you up a little bit. No, I'm not. Right. In, okay. in, this is in just to set the table for everybody. When my dad died, uh, the biggest flower display at the uh, funeral home was from Mr. Andrew Dice Clay. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'm not a flower guy, but when it, it was like, holy shit, look what Dice sent. Amazing. And then um, uh, what happened with me, like, you know, I, I've talked about it a little bit on the air, but I was completely devastated when my dad died. Completely. And I, you, you always think in the back of your head, how are you going to feel when you lose a parent? You, you, you just... You can't prepare for it, is what, all I'm saying. And I shut completely down, and I stopped talking to everybody. And somewhere along the line, I think you got insulted by that. That's no, the only thing I can figure no out. No insult. It was never... Because what, like, what went on between when we, us has nothing to do with that. That's... All right, look, because you're in, we, That's why I'm not doing any jokes. That's why no, I'm no, not but, fucking around here. But listen, 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 listen. The other thing is, my dad died um, three days after we signed with XM, and we went on a promotional tour literally two weeks after my dad died, started on the radio literally a month, uh -huh. month and a half. And I, I got word you wanted to talk to me before we went uh, back on the air. Yeah, I we just, just assumed to... that we were going to pick up where we left off with the great just, stuff look, at NEW. As, as mad as I might be about something else, that has nothing to do with it, so... You know, being angry at a friend is being angry at a friend. That's how it is. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But something like that and something as unexpected as that, I just wanted to get you on the phone to, you know, tell you how I felt and try to, you know, relieve a little pain for you. Right, right. You know, as little as it might be. Mm -hmm. That's all that was about. Not, I don't get angry if, if someone's parent passes away and they're not getting on the phone. Right, right. That would really make me... The true idiot I, as I perform, you know, what I am on stage, no, I, which I, I'm not. I hear you. I mean, there's a lot of people I still haven't called since uh, my dad passed. And, you know, four years later, I'm like, I think I'm finally dealing with all the emotions that I went through when it first happened, to be honest with you. But, um, all right, so then what happened? No, what, all right, this is what happened. When uh, we really got a backup, I got mad, and Kenny will remember, we were all there when. When I did the garden in 2000 and I brought my kid up, see, that's where I do draw the line. Right, right. When somebody that I feel I'm friends with fucks around with me in front of my kid and makes him feel the way he did that day on the radio over the whole little man cow thing that went on. And I was trying to cut it off at the moment because right. I sort of look in his face. He was all excited right. about coming up to meet O&A. Right. And he's sitting there. He's got the headphones on. It's all fun and games. And both of you guys started in about something man cow said. And I'm thinking, number one, nobody even knows him in New York. Like, I, where are we even going? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. He went on TV, like on the news, and said he's bringing me up at the garden. But you guys didn't end it. And I kept trying to end it. I even kept looking at Kenny like, I want them to end this. Right, right. You know, it's also not the that you know, on regular uh, uh, suburban radio, you can't, <laughs> you know, you can't say things like, you know, end this fucking thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was trying to do it and you stayed on it, mm. you know, and he felt really bad about it. And he was really young at the time. And even when we left the studio, he was asking me in his own way, like, what was that all about? I thought you guys are friends. Right. And it's really hard to explain it to, uh, you know, a 10 year old at the time, 11 year old. 
like what what was going on, you yeah. know. And then you know, Kenny called Man Cow, told them don't come to the show, which Max also knew that you know Kenny was friends with Man Cow. Like he doesn't get that stuff, especially at that age. I just wanted him to have a good experience. Well, Man Cow was kind of blowing up our spot. That's it's, where we're. Hold on, hold I on. I get that. where we were coming from. Is like we we're really excited and proud that we were doing this together. It was an amazing. Yeah, moment and everybody in our knew careers. we were. And if you didn't bring him up, nobody would have even kn well, known. Well, the who problem it was. was he was doing Fox News, and all of a sudden he's taking credit for the fact that Dice is playing the Garden for the first time in how many years? I I, I don't know at the yeah, time. Yeah, see, I can't say time. he took. Wait, uh, but he was on TV bragging when did about the it. The garden happened, 1990. February 1990. <laughs> fucking, fucking. <laughs> he knows. Of course he does. So, um, so we felt like he was blowing up our spot, and of course, as radio guys, we're going to go after that stuff. I, I want to make it perfectly clear: I didn't go after Max personally. But no, he but was, as, he was as adults, watching this whole thing go on. That's right, and I, and you saw I was trying to cut that off. But the problem I have with that whole thing is we hung out like nothing happened for probably a year to two years. That's right. That's what I'm confused yeah, at, because Jimmy told me that it might be the time uh, with Man Cow and the Garden and Max in studio. I'm like, but that doesn't make sense. When I was no, out in L.A. that's what made I, me angry. And what? It comes out years later? I'm strategic. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm strategic. What you this? guys were off the air. <laughs> but this, this and ate away at I, you? Yeah. I told Max, I go, they're going to pay for what they did in front of you. That's how I am. I carry this shit like luggage. But that don't and no, when it that comes don't to make my sense, kids, though, Dice. but it does make sense. It was. It makes sense that we we're yeah, hanging if, out at the comedy if store, you, hanging like like. Uh, I needed the best footage. Friends. We we did the scene. I know what we I did, did. I did footage for. <sighs> no, never but that's how I am. The, I, and I get angry. But we were in your apartment, like making food and big big. No, we weren't. I didn't have an apartment. You had an did apartment. I? Yes. Don't th uh, we sat there for hours? Is that hours. when I first moved out of my house? Yeah, we sat there, tiny little places. Yeah, so who had a... time to think about you at that time? If I was, but going you had the that. big candy jars and the big plates and the big yeah, pots, I like and we candy, were, so and what? we hung out for hours. You made me stir fry, and we were watching like the the videotapes. But all, all okay. I'm saying is like. You never gave uh, a hint that you were mad at me. I was out there in LA. We did the hike up the hill. Ha Th yeah. If that's so not how a... strategic, but is if that's that? not a that's <laughs> mental. No, that's it's not, diabolical. That's that's mental though. <laughs> it's diabolical. Like, yeah. like if you, I mean, if you can't discuss no, what's I bothering you me, on that no, hike, let me, let me explain something to you. As as mad as I was, I wasn't mad enough not to go on the hike. That's weird, man. Yeah, I got I gotta be honest but with you. But did you ever meet a comic that was normal? Uh, Jimmy. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never. And no. you're right. Yeah, we're not all, a one. We're all whacked out. You know, I met Years Kenny. Years later, you're going to get me back? Uh, I met Kenny. He was a normal cop. Right. Okay? Is he normal? No. Mm -mm. No, exactly. That's what happens when you're... February 1990. But, uh, no, but I, I was really <laughs> upset about that. But, Dice, that means you got issues. No, it means because we're, I, I'm uh, not mad about it but no we more. Were, but we were, like, more than just... We did good. We did, no, I know. We did I, great radio together, but we were no, also... this is what happened. When we were I also did, friends. We, you were calling me almost every day, and we had great... Long, long conversations. Wait a like, why wouldn't you just? You called me back. I called you back. I'm yeah, not saying you called that... me too. Not... There's a lot of times you called yeah, me. But that's what friends do. You call each other. Yeah, but you so... didn't say that. You said I would call you every day. All right. Well, whatever. I mean, yeah, think people if we were understand. in therapy, the therapist would want to ask me <laughs> why I call every day, and I well, say I don't. We call each other. That's well, what friends do. It's a two-way street. But obviously, we were never friends. If you're waiting, no, we were friends. You're waiting years to get us back. No, for it, that. Re it really was. I said that. Dude, that would have been that would have been one conversation. You tell me what went on, and we would have made that good. I was angry then. Kenny we knew it. Whoever was with me. But then we could have discussed remember, it on the radio no, when we got back on. We discussed it the day after it happened. I came up before the garden, and you guys were alone. You know, there were no guests on that day, and you were going on and on. You know, and I know you're all friends, but, you know, you got a vouch for it when you waited in the limo. I said, I wanted to go up alone. Say the word. Do me a favor. Uh, that's true. That's okay. true. He wanted to go up and... and uh... Yeah, because I, I wanted... To let you know, because it was you that didn't stop. That's why I was really angry, because, you know, Anthony and I were friendly here. Yeah. You know, we like each other. That's why he never paid the price, because of the impression, you know? <laughs> no, but the point is, me and you did talk a lot about a lot of things, personal things. I'm not going to go into that stuff on the air. We were but friends. That's right. 
And, Me and Dice were on-air friends. And so the yeah. fact that you were going on and on after that day with Max, the next day... What did I say the next day? No, you were going on, we might not come to the garden and bring him up. It was like a whole thing, and I said, take I, me I over there. I truly don't remember that. Kenny, you explain uh, it. I, I believe it, it happened. Wait a minute, because he does remember. remember. Uh, it, it's true. Andrew wanted to go up all by himself and speak to you guys and straighten everything out and make sure everything was good for the garden. Because, mm. you know, it was, you know... It was a whole. It was a whole thing because of my kids. So I wanted to come up here, and I was like, "If you want to fight with me, you know, you know." And this is, you know, sometimes when there's other guests, you could pawn it off on them. And I was, I was fuming about it. And I said to you, "If you want to fight with me now, well, it's going to be a big mistake, because no. I know where I go." I didn't mean fight physically. Right. I meant on the air about this, because I was fuming, and. I don't know how it ended that day. You know, it was more of the threat of you guys not coming and introducing me. You stayed on the man cow thing, well, it was, but I was, it was still, I was really too, pissed you know. off about what you did with my kid, and I told I'm going to go straighten this out. That's why I didn't want anybody. Do with I me. understand family and kids and all that truly? But I don't. Understand but you might is not because spend, no, I do understand. But Trust you might me, not. I'm going through some you know personal stuff that has nothing to do with the radio show right now, so I totally get it. How you defend and, and protect uh, your loved ones, but what I don't understand is that you wouldn't just pick up the phone and we work this out. You wait, you wait years, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, wow, Dice fucking hates us. No, what no, is this I, about? I went after you. I can't remember exactly when I went after you. I know I did. Well, on Howard, you know, and which it, is a, yeah, okay, a, you know, kind of a kick in the teeth too. Yeah, you know that. Todd Core. It's what I do. It's what I'm known to do. It's what you guys are known to do. And whatever you said saying, about me, saying I, we're has beens and yeah. Uh, and saying that, um, um, and how I built I'm a the other show. And all no, that no, crap. I, I know what I said. Right. I'm not a, you know, I back up. And I was like, wow, no, this number isn't one, the guy when you're I used angry, to talk to on the phone. When you're angry, don't you say angry Forget things? It. What should I say? I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you can't believe how funny I think they are. I can't wait to see them again. That's not what you say I, when, when you're pissed I, off. I understand what where you it comes do from. is you just say hurtful, nasty things, <laughs> right. which which you also retaliate. It's not like you, you guys don't have mouths and didn't come after me with shit and start. You know, blowing my head off with insults. That's what you do. That's what you do when you know you're angry though? with somebody. But the difference in in the middle of those insults, there were a few compliments because we're idiots. <laughs> we're like, he used to do great radio for us. And no, but we know that, and I brought that up too. See, and, a lot and, of people are obsessed saying you did make fun of my dad dying. Yeah, but it, it's not true, and you know it's not I'll be, true. I gotta, I'll be honest, and, and I'll tell you, and I, I even told you this too. To, in all honesty, uh, it, it was. Howard said something. It wasn't reference to man cow, and and when I heard Andrew's response to that was to divert away from it. And I and I got to be real honest. And he, that's something. Regardless of all the horrible shit was said, that was something that I I knew at the moment he was getting away from that and not going after that. Right. Yeah. I, see, I really that's what when he fought. With, well, that's going to be the know. hottest audio listen, to find right now. Let me tell you something. People are going to be like, "Well, I got to listen." Let, to let, this. Me, let me tell you something. When you know. When I fought with Howard years ago, I didn't know everything he said about me or every war he was having. You live your own life. Mm -hmm. So when, when Mancow called me and I was going on Stern, he brought up that whole thing that he said about his dad, that what Stern said about his dad. It was the same you know, hacking no, material, to be no, honest but with you. That's what, but that's between them. Yeah, I know. Okay? Not between us. So when he said that to me and Stern brought it up on the air... I don't go there. I do. I divert from that because, you know, I don't believe in making fun of that kind of thing. I never did. You know, that that's just who I am. So whether the fans know it or not, I'm telling them that's not who I am. I'll, I'll rip you to shreds. I'll rip anybody to shreds. And I'll take back whatever they give me. If I'm going to if I'm going to go nuts on somebody, I'm going to get it back. You know, it's just how that game is played. But when it comes to that kind of thing, somebody passing away, I do not and never have my whole life. As a matter of fact, uh, with Howard, one of my first fights, not even on the air, was uh, when Ryan White, uh, yeah. years ago, seven-year-old right. kid, was dying of AIDS. And I don't know how they were doing it, but him and Sam Kennison were making fun on the air. And I called him at home and had a giant fight with him going, you know, how do you make fun of a kid that, that's dying? And that you was know, this reason, kid was a hero. No. That was the I reason mean, you stopped doing a show. No, that that's when it, it was started getting things. a little bad. But, right, I mean, right. that's what happens. You know, we've made up since. We've put our troubles behind us. But I'm just showing how I never stand 
for that kind of thing. I just don't see any humor in that, mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a definite. If fans don't want to believe it, you know, I'm not coming to their homes to go, I never did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's just the fact of life. It's not what I do. It's just weird that you wouldn't pick up the phone and discuss this. And, and the only the Max, reason... Because when Jimmy said the reason, Max thing, I'm like, the Max thing? That was... Yeah. We, well, we that, had, is, that is we my great, kid. We had so many great times after the Max thing. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. Yeah, but let me sense. tell you something. I came up here. I told you that day how it was. You know, and to be quite honest... I thought we were over it then. If you, uh, we weren't you over it because you didn't fight me on it. And that I was angry about. I would have rather had the fight that day, you know, the day I did the garden, because there was no satisfaction to it, you know. And, yeah, I carried it around, and at a, a certain time, whenever it was, well, we're I don't even know if you were off the air yet. If you were off the air, great. What do I care? When we went to Gold's Gym in L.A. and you, we were doing 30-pound uh, Yeah, that's curls. right. I remember working out you with you. We it's just... not that I didn't like you. I was angry about something. But we could you know, have discussed and Sometimes it. you carry things like... You know, I don't know if, if Kenny knows why I've been angry at him, which I don't really know if I could discuss on the air. I'll, I'll talk to you off the air well, with it. Well, this is interesting because Kenny really hasn't talked to Dice in about four years, too. Yeah. And, something like and that. It, and then I thought it had something to do with the fact that we hired Kenny when he really had needed, nothing to do with it. And let me tell you something. And, I don't know. No. That, I really didn't know he was working up here full time. You know, I, I know he hangs out, you know, because, you know, uh, I've, had, I've worked with uh, Don Jameson. I work with Florentine. So, so it is a group, you know, which is also part of the reason Norton said, you know what, we all got to be friends. We can't have the fighting, you know, especially, you know, I'm not looking to bring up America, but I am because, you know, we live in, in terrible times right now. And the people that are supposed to be making people laugh, which is us, which is, which is you know, comics, radio, guy, everybody but I'm is hack, fighting so and can't. we can't. <laughs> no, but you got to get past that. You see what I mean? See, I'm a hack, if you can't. <laughs> You and know you, what? And you said we should be... I'm not sure what a hack is. Wait, what did you I say? I might have called it, you that because it's on, insulting. I, this, is more of a, this is more of a compliment because although we were pissed off, it kind of made me chuckle that you thought we were where? In Arizona in the desert at a hot dog stand? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, again, that I was heard funny. that you opened you want, up a business. That <laughs> was funny. When you were on Kid Chris going, those I'm guys are has-beens. Those guys are over. You're the new king. Or something like that. And then you said, uh, and those guys, I think I passed them once. They have a hot dog in stand. In Arizona, the, a hot dog stand. In the middle of the desert. It hurt, right. but it was kind of fun. Yeah, but, but exactly. You see what you just said? It was a hurtful, vicious thing, especially if you were off the air, right. but funny. And that's what I do. I'm a vicious comic. Mm -hmm. I never claim to be a sweetheart when I'm performing and as Joe Rogan would call it, dice mean, he calls that. Right, right. <laughs> which he personally <laughs> loves. Sure. You know, but I was angry about something. Like I said, you can't say what, not... What about know, the, and, what and about the word the, hack? What about the picture? I mean, what is that? What about the picture break of you and down. I... Break it down. If that's still bothering you, nah, it's more break of a joke. Break it down, what that word really means. No, I, it's more of a joke. I, I understand what I do with... Uh, you know, on the on the air. Yeah, so. so so it's nothing to talk about. But what about the the picture, me and you after the garden show, just me and you in the empty garden? Yeah, having how a moment. Is that? It's a beautiful picture. But as you're having that moment, you're mad at me because it's no. Nice but thing. I wasn't mad at that moment. You had to wait to be mad. I'm like, yeah, that was an incredible night. And help what me I, out here. No, but why I don't, wouldn't I, I Anthony? I don't like Anthony, getting... please, you keep interrupting. <laughs> you no. really just, you got to stop already. This and, is between us. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. No. People put <laughs> anger <laughs> down sometimes no, and we, it comes back at a weird time. That's I think what I'm trying that's to, what that's yeah. the thing I'm trying to understand because all I wanted uh, for the last few years was a reason why you were mad at me. And you well, never I'm would telling you it. the reason. And how I, it came out and you know how it came out. I never left messages, but I did call cell phone numbers I had for you. I got nothing no, I did not leave messages because oh, okay. I was like, "Well, if he picks up the phone, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ask him. Like, wh at least tell me why." That's and all. I would have. All right, and then, but you didn't tell me why, and then I we. But we, I would have. We sabotaged your brother Wee's interview, and you hung up. But whatever, that's fine. But Aunt, do you get this? That was not. You know what? The uh, the Wee's no. thing was something that Norton brought to my attention, and the reason I hung up was that was not the time to do this on someone else's show. That's why when, when Jimmy brought this up, I'm like, all right, I'll come up there. I don't got a problem. You know I never have a problem facing anybody. <laughs> it's just when it happens. Get, get Anthony's point of view, because sometimes I'm looked at as, like, the, the lunatic, the, the, the uh, you know, the hothead. But, like, I am. What's, but you what's are a hothead. Dice was, what's your thoughts on this? I see Dice was angry, and he's 
a complete lunatic, so it took two years for the anger to come out. Yeah. <laughs> How come he understands that? You can't get past it. Because I'm like, rea no, you I'm know reactionary. If I'm mad, you know, you know I can't a lot of hold people, it in for two years. Like, I can't hold it in for 20 seconds. What? What? No, I unload also, constantly. Right, but, but you, that's a different story. You let this story. fester for years when one phone call would have taken care of it, and we could have still done the radio part of it. No, one call we wasn't going to take care of it, because, number one, you went through something terrible. Right. Yeah, so what should I do? No, I mean, you could have called me before the terrible thing, because we were hanging out there. You know, I don't have... Tell you got the dates? <laughs> no, you don't need dates. No, but exactly. You, but you do know that we ran into... To, no, I know we each hung other out. A lo not a lot, but a, a couple times. Yeah, you came out store. to the comedy store. We went to you the gym. You were excited. To, uh, honestly, you were excited to see me. We did a yeah, whole day together. We went to the supermarket together. We, we went did to a little shopping as you were in your silly outfit. You couple of what? faggots. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> Not silly enough? No, you're you're rocking. You know. But yeah. You're rocking, but <laughs> I'm all that. You, uh, I'm all that. I'm all that. <laughs> and we went to the Gold's Gym and worked out for maybe seven minutes, and then we went on a hike, and uh, we had all these moments. We sat in your the, yeah, but the, I the get temporary that. apartment you had to but, get because, you know, you were going through a time yourself at that point. Yeah, what, like, do you think that ever you... ends? That doesn't but, end. It, but it, all it I'm saying is, like, Festers. you obviously handle it differently. I'm like, I don't, you know, I, I, I see it as a lot of, uh, you know, opportunities there to, like, discuss this, this Max thing. All right, so we're discussing it. Years later. Yeah, well, I was I going even, through something myself. I don't even know you anymore. You know you know what I mean? <laughs> does, yeah, but you do. That doesn't go. I didn't see Norton for a few years. We just yeah. started talking. Was, That's he's what the happened. same creep the, he always was. <laughs> it was the same thing. Sitting at the diner was the same. We haven't done that in years. Right. It was the exact same thing. What about going to the, uh, the deli here? How many memories you want to bring up? <laughs> How about when we went sweatshirt shopping? Uh, I what remember about, that. What, what about when we picked out silverware and we were going to move in together? What about that? What about discussing? window treatments remember, in my old joint remember medium or well done remember you told which Ken way I, oh that's <laughs> remember you better bosco <laughs> you bet you, no bosco yeah and then i say you bet yeah what? you better bosco you bosco you bet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. see but you messed it up i know remember you it's you, been a while i forgot i totally forgot that oh, remember yeah. you want to let I kenny which one. way you that's better bosco bosco no you bet. <laughs> you bet. Yeah. <laughs> Remember you let the, you you made Kenny sit in the limo to walk around my Remember the time medium well today? done also. Where me and you were walking in the street. Uh, sure. And we were talking about some heavy stuff. Discussing uh yeah, the uh Yeah. See? That's heavy the thing. thing. The thing? Did you wait a minute. What? You're you're not single. I'm I'm getting married in November. <laughs> See, we haven't talked in a long time. No, you know, the old right, so, to a man right. too, which is really <laughs> odd. You haven't spoken for a while. while. <laughs> the old one is long gone, and uh, my new girl is amazing, and we're getting married in November. They're all amazing at this point. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me just say this, just to get off of. Remember when we? Remember you know, when? When we when we weeded the garden together? <laughs> you really getting married again? I never was married. All right, but you're getting married. Yeah. All right. Remember this? Did I just say I'm getting married in November? There's huge news. Yeah. Oh, you just popped oh, that out, didn't wow. you? Does she know Have it? you never said that on the air? No. Does she there know it? There it is. We got a date. What? Does she? All right, so she knows Oh, no. It. So yeah, we were engaged. just trying to keep it kind of quiet. You're trying See, to, just, I, I you're get trying get to outshine my Nicolini date. I got engaged. out of me? I got engaged. Right. You're yeah. engaged now? I, I was. Do you know how wow. angry that made my wife when that happened? Yeah, that'll do it. So, you know, Amy, that's not far from the truth. But then, but then, Bring home a then you end the engagement. <laughs> you I mean, mad. how far are you going to take something like that? Are you really going to marry her? You're going to go wanna, through it? I want, even though he's not a little Max anymore, because I've, uh, I've seen him on TV and stuff. He's a big boy yeah. now, but I want my own Max. You don't get a Max. All right, if you're going to get married, I know how people are when, mm -hmm. when they're going to do that. Remember this. Yeah. No matter what kind of hatred winds up building between the two of you, <laughs> mm -hmm. which you hear why he's laughing? Oh, he yeah. Knows. He's been there. Yeah. No, because he knows what's coming. Yeah. You know, so enjoy those first couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens, when the disdain sets in, when all the little things that, uh, that you loved about her mm -hmm. 
right. make you just absolutely despise her. Mm -hmm. Like when all of a sudden they're sitting with a fucking box of Cheez-Its <laughs> on the bed, crunching with the bun in her hair and no makeup, <laughs> and walking around the house with fucking flip-flops, hitting the back of her fucking feet, where all those cute things fucking make you want to vomit. <laughs> At that moment in time, uh -huh. don't ever think of divorcing her, ever. Because if you do have your own little maxes, even after the divorce, the settlement, the alimony, the uh, the child support, and you could turn around to Anthony and go, boy, I'm glad that's all over. Right. That's when it first begins. <laughs> <laughs> because now all they're left with is the anger mm -hmm. and the hatred for you that maybe you do have a new girlfriend that you like and that you're getting into. So no matter what she does, when you're married to her, you can't get mad. If if you if in the middle of the night she was angry, maybe during dinner, and she takes an electric saw and cuts off your foot, mm -hmm. you look at her and go, "Oh, that must have been an accident." <laughs> I didn't I didn't I didn't really like that foot anyway. That's my bad foot. That foot's a, how did you know? I love you. If she cuts your whole fucking leg off, go. I love you for that, because you knew it was itching. Yeah. You know, <laughs> shit like that. Never, ever leave. Get a thousand girlfriends, get them apartments, con whatever the fuck they want. Bury your stuff, your fucking balls, right <laughs> up that fucking pirate's eye. Just don't ever leave the wife. Always look at her and smile and go, you're the fucking best. <laughs> you got it? I and got you'll it. be thanking me a couple years from now. Yeah. You'll thank me. The anger and the expense that goes along with a divorce is ridiculous. There's no other. It's, you could be an, an astronaut doesn't have as much stress and pressure on him as a guy going through a divorce. It's just the worst fucking thing. You get to the point where you're frothing at the mouth that you're so angry with another human being <laughs> so that you just you're wishing and not just. I wish that person was dead. You're wishing actual death on people just so this ends. Just so it, like, ends. And and the, the, the like, yeah, well, physical stress. I actually used, to, I actually used stress. to do a joke about that. And I was even in love at the time. You know what I mean? I say, you know, when I, it's not even about marriage. I go, when I break up with a girl, you know, I just like I'm dead. <laughs> this way, you know you're not going to run into them at the grocery. You know, nobody's going to come back and say, oh, you know what she said about you? Mm -hmm. After you know you've been clobbering her with your fucking <laughs> cock for years. You know what I mean? Nobody's, nobody's going to come back. Right. Why'd you move the mic when you wanted to laugh? What? I was just, See, you don't even know what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> God, I guess, I guess the what the hell is wrong with I'm you? I'm fucking around. But I'm uh, saying, you know, so I would say that because it does. It just gets brutal. Even if it's a girlfriend mm -hmm. or somebody maybe you fucked one or two times by accident. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit like that. You know, it just never ends. Yeah, it, but you you can't talk anyone out of it. Not that I would. I mean, no, I don't Lindsay's, want to talk you out of it. Lindsay's sure great she's a girl. Nice girl. And uh, that, but the whole I don't understand how anyone gets married these days. No matter how much you feel about the person, the, the married thing is it just amazes me. I've seen too much grief come out of it, and even the happiness, the happily married people, they joke about being miserable all are the you time. Are, are you making a big wedding? Are you doing that? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh, uh, ugh. By then, uh, you know, everybody did, hates everybody anyway. But did you do the big wedding back in the day? No, I don't, I don't no, okay. no. We went, Kenny, you even remember, right? We went one day, Kenny wasn't there, but it was like a week I wasn't in concert, to be quite honest. Right. And I said, why don't, because I wanted to marry her for a couple of years. So we went, you know, just to a temple, mm -hmm. you know, I had a little talk with the rabbi. But you're from Brooklyn, you're like Italian, I thought. No, no. <laughs> He's got to be an ass. It's not about... What, what are you stopping my flow? I'm trying to tell you something. It was just... It was a rabbi. It was some of the rabbi's friends that were hanging around, you know, yeah. for a witness. And, you know, we went for lunch. Then we went home and went to sleep. We already had a kid. Yeah. 
That's nice. My kid had the, be the best time. He had a better honeymoon than me. <laughs> we went to Hawaii. It worked for you. And I never saw a kid have so much fun. I was miserable. Hey. Yeah. With the non-speaking lady that came with us. You know, whatever the fuck she was. <laughs> the nanny or whatever. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> non-speaking. So, uh, so, so I'm, I'm just getting off our argument for a minute. You're right. You know, it's fine. I'm not going back to that. But what's up uh, with poor Kenny? Kenny doesn't know why you hate him. I don't know. What, what, I don't could really... you, what could you say to the poor Kenny? If, over I, there? if I had to say it quick, you know, what really bugged me, because Kenny, you know, we, well, we're not close today, but. His dry hair. I, I looked at Kenny as one of my best friends. Like, you looked at me as a friend. Right. And I don't know. I don't want to do it on the air, because, okay. you know what I mean? It's, I don't want to say the other person's name. He might know, but without. Well, you, maybe, maybe you're you talking know, code. Maybe you're talking code. Yeah, all right. Because Kenny... So, so Kenny, you know, when Max uh, had his bar mitzvah... The double talk. All right. So Max, Max flying in, right? Kenny, you're scared of him. No. No, <laughs> this is it. Um, at Max's bar mitzvah. Right. At, at his bar mitzvah, which, you know, Kenny went up and he did stuff uh, on, you know, the pulpit, the, the whole thing. Because he's one of my best friends. But at that, you know... You, at the bar mitzvah, he mentioned somebody. I talked about some of uh, my ex-wife's friends that didn't show up. I was like, you mm. see, they didn't even back her up at this. And these are people I thought about. And he brought up one in particular and said, I talk to her a lot. And Kenny knows I'm, you know, I am about loyalty with my friends. And I felt that was, and, and I, I just looked at him. I didn't want to argue with him because there was a bar mitzvah happening. And it really just bothered me that. You were having conversations with her because you told me you talked to her a lot. You know who I'm talking so about. So two years later, you got upset with her? Yeah. And <laughs> and it was like she was hanging with my... She took, like, the side of the wife. And Kenny's my friend, and I would confide in him. And you know what? You know, he's never mm. been through a divorce, and I hope you never do go through a divorce. But no, when I'm divorced. Break... Are you really? No. <laughs> 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 when did that happen? What the Jesus. fuck? So it, it just bothered me, and I said, in my mind, I, you know, I just couldn't be friends because I'm like, here's somebody I totally confide in. I even one thing I will bring up that that I, I was screaming at him one day because he actually told I think it was Norton that I was getting divorced, right? And we talked about this yesterday, and I flipped out, going, why the fuck, you know, this I could say, why the fuck would you tell Norton anything? That's going on, you know, with my wife. Why would you do that? If I want to tell him I'm getting fucking divorced, I'll be the one to tell him. Right. You know, but, you know, look, everybody's got their own personality. Personality. But the, the point. <laughs> no, but so he didn't do it maliciously, but it was something I wouldn't do. You know what I mean? So it really bothered me. Why didn't you explain that to him? Because I was really angry. It was like with, with but that's what, not the Norton thing. The Norton thing I said to him. We were we were in Vegas at the time. But that's the ongoing theme today. It's like okay, we get it. Yeah, well, but you know why what? I got to be who I am to people that are quote your friends. Because I looked at it as you are my friend, and you know you're talking to this person, and now you told me you are, you know, and you know I'm having him, you know, in the ceremony for my kid's bar mitzvah, and you know through all the years, you know, you know. There were times Kenny didn't work for me, that we'd fight, you know, and, and I would bring him back because he was my friend. Right. There was even a time where, where my ex-wife would say, why don't you just fucking fire him? I go, what do you mean? You're, you're talking like I know the guy for a day. He's my friend. You know what I mean? You just don't fire your fucking friend. I mean, you know, 15 years before that, who cares? And even then, in a month, he was working for me again because I liked him and we built a friendship. But, you know, 15 years later, what, what do you mean? Just fire him? Just call it, you're fired. Right. This isn't a job with a corporation. I'm a fucking comic. I got more angry at Huff for saying that, you know, because when he was somebody that watched later? my back all, all those years. That was my joke. You know? <laughs> I'm just reworking it. It worked that time. <laughs> Man, uh, I missed this. Sorry. Sorry. Nah, I was, missed the big joke. You said was... I got angry at her, and I'll be said, what'd you tell her, three years later? <laughs> 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 See, because you hold care. the anger in so long. No, but long. I didn't hold it in with her. See, I could be fine. No, of course yeah. not. <laughs> now that I see. Yeah, that I you did too. See, Di I think Dice figures also. No, so wait, why is it always Dice's job to have to call people and say and no, have but, the but talk? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, 
Anyway, that's what happened. That's why I, I was angry with Kenny. I mean, I saw him today. I'm glad to see you today. I'm glad I'm up here. You know, just like, like even when I made up with Stern, I didn't go in to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want, you want to talk it out. You want to put it behind us or not. You know, that's how I am. Because, you know, it is, life is, you know, it's fucking temporary. And, you know, if there are people you like, sooner or later you got to make up with them. That's it. Or else, it, or else it's a waste. If you don't have your friends, if I'm, you know, I, Jameson's with me all the time. Florentine, when he's not headlining, will, will work with me. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he doesn't even look to take money from me when he works. We just like being together. Right, right. You know, I, I mean, you know, thank God Norton's career took off. You know what I mean? And, and he's doing phenomenal. And I was glad to see that, you know, and I'm glad I was part of pushing him a little that he opened for me and met you guys. And now he's got, a, you know, his well, own career. That's great. Well, people I, need I to know. I was actually angry when Jim's Kenny on went, the show. Wait, Jim's on the show because of you. Let me finish a statement. Jim's on the show because of you. No, no, but I'm not taking credit for this. I'm just saying it's a shame that we haven't been talking because if I'm fighting with you guys, well, you know, can't call Norton. Because, you know, he's in that camp, you know, and, and it's really stupid, especially because we are people that make th the whole country laugh. You know, I mean, even when 9-11 happened, you guys had to go on the air. You know what I mean? It mm. was all you guys that had to, you know, keep mm. it moving and try to make whatever relief you could ha make happen for people. You know, think if there was no radio, if there were no comics, if that, you know, you, you can't just keep it a constant battle. When I go on stage, my anger is funny because it's fake anger. It's, a, it's an angry comic. But if you go on with real anger, and there were a couple of years I did go on that way, I wasn't hmm. funny because I meant every word. I really <laughs> did hate going on stage. I was going through a, an awful marriage, divorce, whatever the fuck it was. Obviously, I'm not too fucking mad now. <laughs> yeah, you know what obviously. I mean? I've gotten past a lot of fucking things. You sure did. But that's how I am. <laughs> But no, now when I perform, I'm having a good time. Right. You know, that's the difference. Even my father always says, he goes, he goes, I don't care how dirty you are as long as you're funny. He goes, when you go up angry about something, and that were years. I went through a lot of shit, you know, like we all do. That were years I went up there, and I didn't want to be up there. But yet, my job is to make people laugh at the end of the day. No matter what you go through, the, at the end of the day, make them laugh. Mm -hmm. Because if they're paying to see you and to laugh... At the shit they're going through, it's my job to, to make that happen. Right. So, you know, there's just a lot of shit that's gone down. So with Kenny... Let's get a moment, back, let's get a moment from Kenny. How are you feeling today, Kenny? I, I, I didn't know this was going to happen until 15 minutes before it happened. I know, we didn't no, feel but, like telling but you. But <laughs> I even would tell Kenny, I even told Jameson, we've talked about this because he's with me a lot. And I, I say, you know, he would say, does Kenny know like what happened with you guys. And I, I would tell him the story and who it was. And I would say, you know, you can tell him that because, I mean, you know, things do pass. You know, you don't stay angry full time, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, it really bothered me, too, that we weren't talking, you know. And, and that's it. You know, to go any further and tell him what, that was the reason I was angry with him, because yeah, think, it was a lot of years together. I think if somebody was talking to my, my ex-wife, and then I found out one of my friends was talking with her like that, that would probably piss me off. Yeah, and... It would seem like you, a thing. Do you remember I just when know you personally, told me? I don't know the situation, but I think that would piss me off. I, yeah. Piss me off. Yeah. yeah, but I don't, I don't want to say anything you might not remember, or maybe you do remember. I, do you remember I, when you told me that? No, I don't specifically remember, but We were up at the pool at the hotel, and, the, I, and you said, I said, why isn't she here? And you said, she wanted you to invite her. And I looked at you like, had, like why would you not? And you said, well, I talk to her a lot. And that... You know, I didn't want to argue with it. It was a beautiful occasion. So Number we, one, it was right. stressful. So we got to watch every word we say. No, funny, not at all. <laughs> my God. Come out ten years no, later. You know what? <laughs> ten years. When it, when it comes to my, my two boys, I, I am completely I can, defensive. I, I can't argue that point. I understand, but uh, wow, I should just told someone sooner is all I'm saying. What do you well, got on Anthony that's going to come out like years from now? <laughs> Nothing. I love the impression. No. <laughs> okay. You I would fun. even say on the air. Why, why I, say, yeah. I don't even care what he says because why does he Anthony does the always best. Skate? Why because does he, always he has skate? the best impression of me. It's, it's the a, reason I ever came up here. Kenny would call me constantly and go, that Anthony was on again doing, you know, Andrew Dice Gay. This before I ever came <laughs> up here. Andrew Dice Gay? Yeah, uh, that was he's going to be at the Olive <laughs> yeah, Garden. We had you, you know, as a janitor back in the day. You know, whatever it was, 
you know, and um, Back he goes, you got to do something. You got to go up there. So he's really the one that brought me up yeah. here. Because I didn't know you guys. I think you were just on in New York at the time. Yep. And I'm going, Kenny, what do I get? Let him do the impression. It's good. Yeah, but he says you're going to be at the Olive Garden. <laughs> but he's saying it like he's you. You know how he talks. Yeah. Going, but he's not me. And the people listening know he's not me. And then, you Kenny know, we got together. Know, this yeah. could hurt you, Andrew. They're saying bad things about you. <laughs> yeah, he, he really did. But, you want me to crack but that's some what skulls? I'm talking about with loyalty. That was his loyalty to me, calling yeah. me and, and just not liking, even though it's a great impression, he didn't like how you did. The whole idea is making fun of the person yeah. you're doing. So out of loyalty, yeah. don't, didn't he deserve like an explanation? Not after that, in my opinion, no. Oh, I'm not going to understand that because anytime soon. It, it, because it was almost like... In my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, it was like a slip when he told me he's talking to her. You know, and that is, it's not even like talking to another guy. It's its the wife's closest friend. So I'm going, mm. in my mind, I saw both of them talking on the phone. He's telling her yip, about yip, what yip, I'm yip, feeling. Yip, yip, yip. And oh, yeah. God damn. You know, and that girl even brought problems into my, the last relationship I had. You know, bullshitting mm. about, you know, she's just a, a big fucking mouth. <laughs> Just a big fucking mouth. <laughs> no, but I don't have to tell her off because I'm not close with her. Yeah. You know, I don't have to not be friends with her. You understand yeah. that? I know you're oh, the guy that me. gets that. I, I do get that part because... Uh, if she yeah. cuts both your legs off, you still love her. Remember that. <laughs> I'll remember. Thank you, Josh. Just put a little metal cup around your gog. <laughs> you Keep that, that there. You can still bounce, even if you got stubs. <laughs> hey, look at Kenny. Kenny? No, if you, if you I want to say, know. I mean, we are here. I mean, you know. No, I'm, 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 I'm glad we you have some closure. This. No, I never know. Don, Don and Jim used to tell me that, you know, you would always ask about me and say nice things about me, but they never told me the reason. Because you're 6'5". <laughs> and this, <laughs> and you're not all there. Yeah, <laughs> you might take it the wrong way. Yeah, no, I, you know, even when Kenny went through the, are you allowed to talk about it at all? Yeah, yeah, I'm retired now. I got my pension. Okay, good. When he went through his thing, let me tell through you, the retirement. <laughs> let me tell you, even when he went through that, you know, and I was angry at him, defended you, you know, when uh, when I, I was asked about it. By actually a newspaper, I don't know what newspaper, but on the air, I defended him, you know, it, you know, because one thing has nothing to do with the other. I mean, I've been close with him and his family most of my life, really, my adult life. So I'm not going to rip apart somebody because I'm angry about something else. Right. You know what I mean? So I defended him with that. And the only thing I did get angry about is why didn't you just book? every club in the country that day I, I that's all i could think is i go he's all over the news everybody knows <laughs> yeah. the name ken fetter today or jo i don't know if ken fetter right. why didn't he just call dennis and book every fucking club in the country at a 60 dollar <laughs> ticket fuck the pension that you make more in two weeks than you make in three lifetimes that's all I went crazy. Like, I wanted to call you and go, what are you waiting for? You know, because, you know, those things, you know. Well, let's it, book it tomorrow. It was so it big. It had the same effect. <laughs> it, it was like, it was like Fetter mania. <laughs> you know, yeah. and I'm going, where is he? You know, I'll put him in front of me. Let's just book it. <laughs> it's like when uh, the guy, remember when, uh, you would remember this, the, uh, the first, the millionaire guy. Right. Yeah. And I called this guy. He was a comic. And it was like one of the first reality shows, like Marry a Millionaire. Mm -hmm. And he married that, uh, the fuck was her name? The one she wound Darla? up like showing her slice in, in <laughs> Darla Conger? Yeah. Yeah. Slice. yeah. She, marry a millionaire. She, yeah. she paraded her little hatchet cut around town for a while. <laughs> Here, look at me. This is me now. Look at, like my smile? Fucking bunch of slobs, <laughs> all of them. Anyway, what, what happened is when that show happened, you know, I knew the guy, you know, mm -hmm. and I called him. I said, look. Because I knew he wasn't a phenomenal comic, but he's got 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I said, if you want to open for me, my agent said, you'll open for me. We'll book a whole tour. You got to do 10 minutes. I'm the one that I got to come out and do an hour. So he's all into it. And then because the media was all over him, because he was just a talentless guy, really. You know, he calls me up. He's booked for Larry King. And he goes, you don't understand. I got to go on King. 
like like it's his buddy, and and clear my name, and that was the last time I heard of him, or anybody heard of him. <laughs> that was this, you know. But that was a guy that was struggling in comedy for twenty years already, you know. Kenny is is a, a law enforcement person that got the shot of a lifetime, and I'm going book. Just fucking book the road. Did you say that then? The way you're shaking your head. No, it makes sense now. Maybe we yeah. should have thought. <laughs> that's all I was, long, that's all I can think. I'm going. This is this is a gold mine. I think he, he was worried about his pension at the time. Yeah. To be honest with you, I think he uh, he was scared out of his fucking wits. He didn't know what was going to happen to him. And he's got the two kids and stuff, and uh, he needed to make sure they did the right thing. The the the, the police department. Yeah. Oh, so you were nervous about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. You know, it was a bad scene at the time. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I was thinking, I don't know, you know, what he... Everyone's phones are going off. Yeah, but you didn't see mine. Huh? What's well, yours? <laughs> of course you have the best phone. Uh -huh. That's Andrew not about the class. best. <laughs> Is it the ring? I call it Commando. Commando. Wow. Ooh. Oh, okay. The underwater phone. Mm -hmm. Underwater phone. So you can call people from underwater. <laughs> this is Dylan now. I'm underwater. I'm a 13 year old. <laughs> He's growing up. He's wow. 13. Awesome. One of the greatest guitarists you'll ever hear. I thought he was uh, doing the drum thing. You see what I mean? It's Another been a insult. Long time. It's, been Max, a long, it's been a long time. Max, oh, is, Max the is the drummer. drummer. You're right. You're Dylan's right. the guitarist. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like he's like a prodigy. He's only thirteen. Mm -hmm. Did the first gig last week at the Canyon Club. Oh, really? Yeah. Were you All the, original. Were you there? Yeah, I was there. All right. I headlined the show, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> was I there? And I had Commando with me, by the way. The underwater phone. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> I, I have. Trying. You know how everybody tells you what to have? You live in L.A. It's very no. dry out there for the most part. No, not with the it's, ocean. Well, you're far from the ocean. <laughs> See, no. he, I'm no, talking about making says, calls on the water. On phone, and the ocean's cold. 800 feet under the water. <laughs> 800 feet. Yeah, let's say, you know, let's say you're having a problem with somebody. Right. Yeah. You dive into the ocean, <laughs> you call the police, you know what I mean? And you're by a shark. Wait. They can't catch you because you're underwater, but your phone still works. Well, it why get brilliant. in a fight with a guy? You're going to fuck up your clothes. You're going to fuck everything up. So right. you wait. So you jump in, you call the, the police. He's there alone because you're underwater. And he's looking for you and you got the phone. You got the phone, the cops show yeah. up. Who he's cares like, what about are you music? There's a radio in a car. I don't care if it downloads music. It's commando. I'm under here now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're a mess. I can't yeah, no, with the you. Kid, they're they're phenomenal performers. L.A. Rock. Yeah. 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 All right. All original. Mixture of like Guns N' Roses and Led Zeppelin. Nice. I got to pump them because well, they're doing yeah. that thing now. See, that's yeah, what, you play guitar? Nah, my brother does. Why are you pumping him? We don't He's have good. an audience, according to you. And uh, Oh, Jesus. We're past our prime. Now nah, he won't let Too it go. Too <laughs> You know what? Everybody's nah, sensitive. Go. I'm going you know, for little jokes like you. Oh, this sorry. was my thing. Oh, that's this just in. Yeah, but you Dice is just getting mad yeah. at his fourth grade teacher right now for a grade <laughs> that he got. Right. You know what? <laughs> I, I didn't like my fourth grade no, teacher. Huh? You know, no. You know, yeah. tomorrow we're going to do a 40-minute uh, bid on this, right? All the other things you're mad at that, that, that are finally coming out. You know what? There, there are certain things that, that get The Hindenburg. Right. <laughs> nothing. He, he should have known. Nothing. <laughs> nothing I heard you say. You said you didn't say anything. No, I heard I mean, you things said you didn't that would trickle down. No, I didn't listen. Oh. What do you think? I want to tune in and go, oh, let me hear them tear me to shreds? <laughs> oh, that, that feels good. I'll say this. I was proud of my attack. <laughs> You know as, what? As, I'm sure it was very good. It's what you, you do, right? I was proud of my attack. Okay. You know. I'm happy that you're proud I'm of it. I'm sad that the relationship fell apart. All right. But it I'm, happens. But I'm starting to think I don't think... It's not we had like we roll over in the morning and go, good morning, honey. <laughs> I, you guys, you guys. You had, had a relationship. We had a, a verbal that. disagreement. Yeah. That's why I don't have any friends off the air that I met like I was more sad about Kenny than you. Of course. Yeah, I, you should be. Been you guys have been for a long time. I'm not trying to, like, uh, you know, make more of it, but I did, like. Yeah, how come you don't care with how he feels? Kenny? Yeah. I care deeply about uh, how Kenny. Yeah, he Kenny, I hope he's a good friend to me. He cared. Dice. Oh, okay. my God. We talked about you many times. Calls him GH. And, uh. Where's GH? Greg Hughes. Greg Hughes. And I felt it's bad. It's okay, GH. Really. Yeah. See, yeah. you've, you've missed a lot, man. It's too bad. 
I'm okay with it. You, miss, <laughs> I was, I, you know what? I go through a living hell my whole life, you miss so my, I deal with you it. You missed my growing up years. Where were you? <laughs> growing you know, up <laughs> years. You missed Where the college you? years. Where were you when I was playing Little League and all that? Hey, look, I was, number one, I was there for you years. a lot. I was there I'm for you a lot. I know you were, but so How was I. How come when I make a point, I... Because you've can't... talked for the last hour. We've no. talked for five minutes. And you... All right, right so I'm sorry. Ahead. That you was a what? joke. That was a joke. I'm sorry. What was so funny about Get the big joke? Here. What was so funny about the big joke? <laughs> Why can't you film with my camera for a few minutes? Uh, does that air on something? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's empty. No, I don't think <laughs> No. But I'm saying, yeah. do you use it like YouTube or shit yeah. like that? Yeah, we might throw Can you do mine a few minutes? Yeah. Just for... So I... You know, I just like getting it, like, for posterity. It's just for posterity. fun. Remember how he, yeah. Uh, no, Dice, listen to me, please. Kenny, I'm what, really a Sony guy. This yeah. was on the spur of the moment. Are you just, I believe in Sony. When are you going to tell, <laughs> tell Canon that you're mad at them? <laughs> I didn't even say their name. <laughs> you know what? But, you know, it's just an opinion. Canon, to me, is not Sony. Well, that's a good opinion. Sony yeah. fucks you in the ass with the prices. <laughs> right. You know, but... But it's a good product. Kenny was. I, I like the can. See, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have any. Kenny, again. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm <laughs> putting it on. Kenny, I'm trying. Water. That should be an endorsement. Just make sure you get everybody. Dice. Kenny was. Get my eyes. They're blue. Kenny was uh, deeply bummed out by uh, by how it went bad. Why didn't you call me? Why? Why I got to call everybody? That's a good point. Yeah. See, that's I, it. Everything I've heard is like Dice. Why didn't you get on the yeah. phone and call? It's like why is it Dice's responsibility to call? He's mad. Like. If somebody picks up that Dice is mad by, you know, secondhand hearing it, or they figure out, maybe then call Dice. I'll tell you why I didn't, I, I didn't, I called you after I realized, wow, he is fucking not happy I'm just with playing me the Dice's advocate here. Because I think, I don't remember, it might have been the Howard Show, I don't know, when we realized, wow, this guy fucking hates us. What, what's this about? And I did reach out to you. I did not leave a message. And you just got to believe me on that. Cause I, I do believe you. I, I wasn't going to leave a message. See, I don't but think I'm you're like, a if liar. If, if I tell you something, I'm not lying. And if, if you if tell he, me something. I was like, if he picks up the phone good, we'll try to see what happens here. That's the, and that's the best I did. And I only tried, I tried two phones. What is this, Raging Bull, where Lamada calls his brother and doesn't talk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that? He's got, I never Remember understood that. that. Yeah. No, because the brother's like, hello, hello. Yeah, that's you know, a And he's thing. just sitting there with the phone. Yeah. Okay. But he's nuts, and he had a lifelong thing about getting him down. <laughs> yeah, trying to prove two things. Two things that I'm not and got a lifelong thing about getting me down. And, and Kenny's more of a woman than all of us, and he was... Oh. He you was, call those carrots! He was deeply uh, bummed out. You call out. those Some, carrots! All right, Kenny, you're on your own. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Bring it over here! Bring, Bring it, it over <laughs> here! You want your steak? Bring it over here! You missed my prom I and everything. That. Where have you been? Isn't that the greatest thing? Oh, I love that Can't we theme. talk about something fun for a minute and then... Yeah, I just want to... I'll sit here. You could just yell at me. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I was sleeping till 10 minutes before Have I, I had to come up here. I haven't yelled. I'm not saying yell. I, I mean it, it little... like as a, as a euphemism. It took fun little cute little jab. What, what does it? euphemism mean? I don't know. I don't it's know. something though, right? like something right. else, yeah. but yeah. It, it's yeah. Young, a young mism. <laughs> so I actually said it right? <laughs> well, I actually said it right. Boo. <laughs> what, what about the big sandwiches at uh, the Carnegie <laughs> Deli? I'm remembering more stuff now. What about He's the big him with the memories. I loved having it with you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm just you know, trying to make and, and the black no, cherry fun. soda. You think I forgot black that? Cherry Extra soda, ice. Nice. I'm allergic to cherries. Thanks for well, one of my favorite dice experiences was uh, well, well, going walking down uh, 57th shopping. and buying the big Everlast uh, sweatshirts that we said maybe I should take like a medium. And he's like, no, extra large for everybody. And we yeah. all walked around with giant uh, Does, sweatshirts You call that on. giant? Today you could get 8X, 9X, 10X. Yeah. You know how phenomenal that is? They were giant. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. Giant, we giant knew. clothes. And then he was haggling like we were in Bangladesh. Yeah. Yeah. He's haggling for Always the price the of the guy. Yeah. No, but you know the best is when you get close to the person. And yeah. Maybe, now I actually put my arm around them. <laughs> oh, no, and I go, they must love that. To me. And I say it like... We're talking about <laughs> cash. Like, like I'm though. the only one that has That's some That's paying cash. Yeah, I'm going to pay you in cash. Okay. <laughs> cash. So what are you going to do here? And you look around like there's 100 people watching. <laughs> I did it with Commando. Did, ah, the underwater phone. phone. Yeah. I walked it. You know what's so, so nuts wait. about going in? Just wait for the underwater phone no, dice You know bit. what's so nuts <laughs> about you? You want to know what assholes people tomorrow. really are? You ever go buy a phone? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so I went in because I knew it was late at night, like right before they close. 
right? And there's like 10 salespeople standing around doing nothing. This is what fucking robots these assholes are. And I come over to a guy. I go, yeah, I'm looking for a phone, whatever, you know. And uh, guy goes, all right, you just got to check in. You know, what? like where you got, yeah, you oh. know where you got to like put your name in like a computer, which yeah. I don't know how to do. Okay. And I'm going, in. I am checking in with you. <laughs> I go, there's nobody here, but they're so robotic. I nearly walked, I nearly didn't own commando because of this. I would, would have been tragic. Because I'm actually looking at the guy going, you're fucking kidding me, right? Yeah. I go, there's nine people standing, you're going to close in 15 minutes. Check, check what? Check what? Go get me a phone. Go in the back and get me a phone. <laughs> That's what it became because I was so angry. Infuriated. And, and right there and then I let him know how I felt. Mm -hmm. But well, I was good. <laughs> yeah, no, you got to get your feelings out. Yeah, That's what I you're think saying. you're learning that, right? Yeah. Where's Jimmy on this whole thing? I think that what happened was is that a bunch of people <coughs> who, who genuinely liked each other <coughs> hurt each other's feelings. Everybody got their feelings hurt. And no one is good yeah. at saying my feelings are hurt. A bunch of women. But but that's what it is. No one's good at saying, you know what, that hurts. Men, we don't react that way. We get fucking angry. Fuck you. It's very hard to go, fuck, man, that kind of hurt when you say that stung a little bit. It's very difficult to yes, do that. Yes, even the thing with Kenny. Like, I was hurt. It's, if I was hurt, now it's all about being hurt. That he didn't call me. I'm going very to friends hurt. with the guy, you know, my whole life. For, why isn't he calling me? Right, right. Why do I got to mm -hmm. call all the time? Well, in my case, I, I didn't know you were mad at me, or I would have called you right away. All right, so so a couple of years later, when I got angry, why didn't you call me? <laughs> no, because how am I going to be mad at you for hanging out in the gym and pumping iron? What, am I going to get mad then and ruin the workout? We're in the cage at that moment. What about the uh, the special hike? The, the hike where was you nice. All, You've done the hike, Kenny. Where you the mountain. All, the mountain. Well, it's a little hill, but it's nice. Like really? You, you, had a, you had a tough time going up that mountain. Trust me. No, we, yeah. had, we had well, a stop. I don't like the mountain. You don't like the mountain? Oh. Yeah, no. he does. He, he never but, liked the mountain. Yeah, you he have, did it, but he didn't like it. He has special rules. you got to stop at certain points and take a look at the view. you got to spit the water out. Spit the water. There's a whole thing. <laughs> you get in the cage. It's exhausting. I forgot how exhausting Dice is to hang out with. <laughs> You're exhausted. But you did the mountain, didn't you? Yeah, and we and sat. And you were happy once you got there. I think there was like, there. A, like a bench up there, and we were uh, overlooking L.A., and we were having moments. That, that would have been, moments. That would have been yeah. the, You should have done the max thing there. That I'm wasn't thinking. the time. I'm thinking you should have done it there. How, how can I start screaming? I'm exhausted. What do you mean that's Sweating. not the time? What do you want? You're waiting for us to cl climb Mount Everest together? No, I'm saying <laughs> we were having a great time. There'd be no reason that's when to I get angry. You, so um, you just kept having good times until... Until I got angry. It was years later. Yeah. And he then he got things. angry. He we all, a lot of times we bury things like, ah, all right, all right, it's, it's in there, it's in there. And then one day a cap just comes off and pfft, and it comes out. It's really, it's, it's really. Yeah, no, I remember I filmed, we filmed that scene at the, uh, I, I at was, the comedy store. I was a with, bad actor. Yeah, now you come up with some of the moments now. <laughs> yeah, no, we were filming that. We were having fun. Uh, yeah. I was hoping to see that About Dylan somewhere. saving his school. Sure. Right. You have it on a that loop. He, swung he through. has it on a loop somewhere. He watches it No, that he swung through the window of the school. <laughs> he was like, stop these terrorists. Oh. He's so like a superhero. Film, yeah, he was a superhero. Type of guy. <laughs> See, we talked about your kids a lot. I know. And then you made him feel bad, one of them. But I didn't know. And you didn't tell me. What? Now you know. And now all this. Now what? Well, well now how what? great is this then? If I didn't do what I did, this could have never happened. What about this true. is a great moment? This moment would never be. You never helped. You never helped me with my window treatments. Remember, you were walking around my place going, "Oh, yeah, window but, treatments." But, but good thing you, too. I, I took you know, clothing shopping. I didn't even know what window treatments. But were. a good thing he didn't because you left that place. Oh yeah, long gone. And you would have those window I mean, treatments. Now you're back stayed. to wearing brown. You were wearing black when you hung out with me. Yeah. Now you're going to Earth Tone. I had a. I had to get, <laughs> See? Earth Tone. I had yeah. to get us that. Greens, browns. I had to get in touch with. You Just know, go the black. Earth. If it. Why brown, green? Black. Black. Like your hat. Basic black. Basic black. It works. How about There's beige? No thinking. Beige sickens me. <laughs> no. It, it sickened me when I was we when I when I was know. ten, walking we around with know. piss stains in school. <laughs> you go to the bathroom, you come back, you, you, it looks like you fucking came in your pants, <laughs> and everybody's looking, and you're in bath. Fuck beige, and anybody that wears it. <laughs> so uh, this is really weird. Like uh, Kenny hasn't seen Dice in four years. I know, but it doesn't feel like that now that I'm seeing him. Eh. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't feel like that. <laughs> He's just as handsome. Maybe to you. <laughs> How do you feel, Kenny? 
He is yeah. just as handsome. Those no, chiseled see. cheekbones, oh, right. the there blue eyes that oh, sparkle right. like the Nile. Oh, oh see? Kenny, yeah. you're the worst. Doesn't a take little more forehead. Mike Cole yeah. checking in. Huh? Saying uh, Mike Cole checking in saying that he thinks Opie might be worried now that Ken Kenny's going to leave. Oh, I would so lose that one. Who's Mike Cole? He's, uh, he's a cop friend he's of ours. One of my new friends. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> that that tells me when he's mad at me. He might be. And we work it out over beer like that, and then we move back to the fun times. I don't Is drink. GH getting worried? <laughs> Kenny's going to leave. Go See? back to uh, Andrew. Yeah. Hmm. Kenny holds a grudge like a mosquito. He's right back in his camp. Yeah, like I go nothing. to the highest bidder. <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> like, highest bidder. It took 30 seconds to, to understand. In he had me interest. from hello. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the, Kenny likes the drama. Oh, he Kenny loves drama. drama. He loves it. Oh, he loves talking Andrew, about it. These guys it. think I'm very pessimistic. Yeah. Like always giving them bad news. Like remember like when oh, you yeah. used to first He's wake a, up? That I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> He's See, the this worst. was Kenny, right? Yeah. I could wake up my fucking throat. <clears throat> All right, I'm good. Yeah, I good can now. wake up in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. In a great mood. We'd be like in Vegas, like, you know, Venetian headline. Great, you know? Sure. Here comes Kenny, and I see the face. He's got a face on. <laughs> and I'm going, everything all right? Well, you just woke up. I don't want to bother you. you. <laughs> I go, yeah, but you, you got this face on, you know? And no, it's a, I'll just handle it. <laughs> So I'm not, my eyes aren't even open, you know. So now you, you know, gotta and, go, and, what, Kenny? You know, so I'm going, Kenny, just fucking tell me. What, what is it? Well, Marty called for three more tickets. <laughs> I'm going, yeah? He got me the gig. <laughs> he got me fucking headlining at the Venetian, giving the ticket. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what if he's selling them? <laughs> I go, who the fuck cares? Let him sell him. I hope he's selling him. <laughs> oh, he's the oh, worst. So you... but it, and it was always stuff like that. It was never real heavy stuff. No. But Another, he'd thing... make me so fucking nervous that I'm going, just fucking tell me. Screaming. But that's another thing you missed, us getting <clears throat> to know Kenny. See, now we know that. Yeah, we know those back little in the day, things. But I didn't anything have to be him. there for you to get to know him for your well, moments that might have turned into something really special. You weren't there for our Leno appearance. I wasn't there for that. I know you did it. I know. It would have been nice. Though. Letterman. Uh, Letterman. Leno? And Letterman. I, I couldn't care less. <laughs> That's your career. <laughs> well, as a friend, it would you care nice how I've been making a living with the bullshit I go, you don't care. What do you give a fuck? Uh, well, you know. I, I consoled you when, when the thing happened when you were uh, what thing? banned from the other radio. Oh, for the Sex with Sam. Yeah, we had a long talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we, we talked about me, it a lot. You gave me... You were really, you were really fucked up from that. You gave me what, great why advice. Why don't you talk about that? I said you gave me great advice when we climbed that little, little tiny little hill that yeah, but Kenny likes to call the mountain. You want to tell people something. You want to tell them about I told awful stuff. stuff. Tell people... How I treated you. I told him about when, the, stir, the stir fry and the uh, and the shopping and the that makes you, no, 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 and, no 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 and the tell them the real the, shit and then you tell the me real about stuff. how the comedy store is haunted and we were there in the back room. No, scared. that's not what I'm talking about. And you know it. Um, see? How about when they butterflied his uh, no, his tell steak? Them, the time you they you sent tell your steak them, back three times. We do you remember? Perfect. No, <laughs> when I told no. you we're talking about all bullshit that stuff and and what he right, felt with me. All right. But you, when you guys weren't on you, the air, he was very... Oh, yeah, we, we were, were all fucked phone, up. Yeah, but I didn't see you. You no, just no. stayed at home. We, I hibernated. We had many hours on the phone, and then especially on top of the hill. And you said they uh, pretty much ruined you back in the day. And you told me to be extremely careful. No, but I'm told once you were off the air, I can solve you with that stuff. Because you go, you said I know exactly, you know where you're at. Because I was on yeah, top of the who, world. Yeah, because who went through a, and more you, than me with that shit? And you said I went through this, and you got to be really careful because they're out to get you now. Well, it, right? there's always the boss, right? You know, the boss of the company always wins. That's it. I actually learned and that the, lesson that, from you. Yeah, and I would talk to you a lot. You would be calling me with that stuff, and I go, look, this, no I, matter who who. What they pay you and who you think you are, they're still the ones paying you. And, and honestly, I did learn that from you because before that happened, I thought Aunt and I, we were like, 
We were we were hot shit. We were syndicated all over the country. We had massive ratings. They were the money was flowing. I'm like, we fucking run this place. They don't run this place. I learned that lesson from you. All right. Well, you finally said something. I've said some nice things. No, so I'm not talking about, about the, shopping. What about the huge? You know what I mean? This is this is serious conversation. I mean, it's yeah. fun, but you got to say it the way it is. I did. You know, don't make me to be the bad guy. <laughs> wow. Well, right, Andy. Yeah. You're not the bad guy. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, and now we're all, we're all, I think we, we're all, Anthony doesn't like real moments. I think we're all good. He doesn't, he right? It's uncomfortable. But he's talked to me with some heavy stuff. Yeah. That he, at, at that time. And Dice, again, gave good advice. Good advice. Said. Which he didn't listen to himself, <laughs> but he gave good advice. But that's how it is with anybody. So yep, when it comes to exactly. you in a relationship, yeah. you know, you got the greatest advice. The minute your chick comes down on you, the fuck did I do? How do yeah, I get back? What happened? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, how bad do you want to do the bit tomorrow? I want to do Dice Underwater Phone and... That's and dice, dice, and dice, Rip. mad at people for shit that happened fifty years ago. Yeah, dice the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> but dice, you hung out with Hitler for many, many years. <laughs> yeah, but I, I wasn't mad. I wasn't ready to be mad. But dice, you, you were his pal. <laughs> But I was he going to get mad in the bunker? <laughs> right. The time wasn't right. What do you mean the time wasn't right? He, 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 he took out Why a Why are you doing the bit that you're going to do tomorrow night? Oh, we yeah. Just practice. No, tomorrow we <laughs> do you're it. You're practicing to do and it And then tomorrow. underwater phone service. Yeah, this is you hear me now? <laughs> you Let me tell you something. You can't even get this. No? This, no. This what do you think? You could walk into a phone store and go, give me the underwater phone. You're, they're giving it it's to like, you. Give me, give me the dice phone. <laughs> you ain't getting this. Just call it you dice phone. It. What if else? you want who, it, who you would tell me? But it has an antenna. And I know who to call to get it for you. It's got the window on the front. It's got thing. an antenna, though. It's a, they should give this away with every hummer sold. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the one on your prick. <laughs> of course. You know what I mean? Look at this. This, this is a real phone. It's all right. Yeah, look. Watch, watch what I do. I drop it. Oh! <laughs> nothing happens. Oh. Why? Look at this. Can Industrial I, to go underwater. Can I drop 800 it? 800 feet. Can I drop Eight. it? Nobody touches this. <laughs> can I drop it? It's commando. Let me go commando with it. Let me Hello. See, let's see what it can do. I'll take your picture. No, no, no. <laughs> 800 feet. Why 800 feet. It, 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 it could call at 800 feet. Why wouldn't you just Help. swim up to air I'm first? drowning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good picture of... Uh... Oh, that's E-Rock Dice. Look at that. Dice. Yeah, that's a good Jimmy picture. That's right. Can I see it? Hey, Look Dice. what I do. Save. Dice. <laughs> I own it forever. <laughs> until I delete it. Uh, well, now, picture? The, yeah. the bit is I'm beginning. Sorry. Thomas yeah, Overbeck from it. Dallas. I'm mad at the Oswald jerk-off. JFK was a great president. Damn it. See, what? another thing. We'll, we'll, I think we're going to do a bit tomorrow. What, you like? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we're going to do the bit tomorrow. Yeah. Dice. You I don't know how to get to Oh, here it is. Dice, you, you missed all the new hires that we did and everything. Yeah, you don't, Dice. Dice. You I'm don't showing know, them the picture. You don't, know, you don't know E-Rock. You don't know Sam. You don't know any of these guys. Who's the big audience out there? Why it is? It's four people. I get uh, it. We didn't invite people. They they come by on their own. They just show up. Were you just making the? Yeah, I was making a, a little joke like you do. Oh, oh, it's not fun when. How come? How come? It's not fun when, when I make. Yeah, but I didn't say how many people. <laughs> it's not fun when it's directed at you. No, but it's, it's fun it's, to it's do a goof. it. I, I think it's a cool thing to. Have no, actually, people. on Fridays. Can you hear us out there? That would be funnier if they didn't, that they just sit and watch. That they just have to watch Shut without hearing anything. Are you gonna, Shut them down. Are you going to go on Howard now and say I was there and they had three fans in the stands? Because that'll hurt us. <laughs> I don't that, have to. That, you just said it. That'll make, us, <laughs> yeah. that'll make us sad. And that's Stan. You don't know him. You don't know any of these guys. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> he, he's a fucking barrel of laughs. This guy. Barrel of laughs. He's, he's a, a, a comic. An aspiring oh, comic. Okay, yes. cool. He's leaving Get the show. Get him a little. If he becomes a big star, I got to have him on film. <laughs> uh, there. You got an endorsement. So, you, what do you, do you, uh, oh, do you well. know him, Norton? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've worked together. Anything? Yeah. Yeah. He's funny. So, He's very uh, dry. So, Norton is uh, doing his HBO thing. You're you're one of the featured guys for uh, Norton. The, the show's going to be tomorrow tomorrow down and Thursday. Thursday with Jim Norton. Wednesday and Thursday. We Wednesday shoot. and Thursday. And Dice is one of the four headliners. And uh, Now what? I don't know. I'm just glad that no one's feelings are hurt anymore. Yeah. Everybody was very sad on some level about it. Everyone yeah, we know sad. that. I mean, even I mean, here, because not. it's radio, it's hard to, like, be 
I don't know, completely real because we got to almost like put on a little show, but it's okay yeah. because well, it's what? a reason for us to get together. No, I mean, I'm being honest, but maybe a little animated. Well, well I can't see know. the mics going off and us going, you know, hey, go fuck yourself. No, no, you I'm know, not this talking is about nice. that. I'm saying this was a good well, can I tell you excuse something? to that, come in and that's discuss. Why yeah. That's why we didn't take a break yet because I know damn well as soon as those mics go off, it's going to be like... No one wants to deal with that moment. Oh, what, you think it's going to be awkward? See, that no. I don't have a problem with. Awkwardness in, a, in probably a good a way. nice way. Yeah, right. no, That's no. what I mean. Like, it's easier to do it on the air. I came in and a little more I wasn't here. I'm not mad. Yeah, I didn't really. I wasn't ready for that. You were ready for it. You were okay. I, I felt it. I felt the vibe. I was? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Helmet's hit. <laughs> well, now that you lost weight, that could happen, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> little joke, you know. I get it. See, I get well, it when I'll, you do the joke. I'll find out if you get it five years from now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least piss I, I, I'll just, I'll just go pee. Is that like a thing when you laugh, you move the mic? Is Did that I like do it a, again? I don't know. You, yeah, you got, you want, we all got our thing. <laughs> oh, I know why. I'll tell why you why. Why do you do that? Because I don't want to laugh directly in the mic because some people think that's really obnoxious. Oh, really? So I'm trying to laugh off mic. That's all. Mm. That's all that is. No, I thought it was like a thing, like when I put the cigarette behind the head. You're still not smoking the cigarettes, I see. Seven years. But you still hold the cigarette. Yeah, I like it. Do you talk to anyone about these issues? The fact I don't want to light it is a good thing. But why yeah. do you need it at all? Because they're free. Like, why don't you <laughs> walk around with your underwater phone instead? You know, two you picks be don't do it. I got the underwater phone, but you I could got the be, cigarette. But you could be walking around with the underwater phone instead. Get rid of the cigarette. I like the cigarette. <laughs> I, I like the it. cigarette. Yeah, but who says you have to? I bet you have the same pack uh, from four years ago. No, no, no. I, I go I through like you. a pack a day. Yeah, yeah, you have to. It probably gets like loose yeah. and the tobacco falls out. and then you go through a pack a day, but I quit he's not nearly, what, them. seven years ago. Kenny would know. How wow. insane yeah. is that? March of... Uh, <laughs> I'm glad Kenny came over here. <laughs> Kenny, when did he stop I didn't, smoking? See, I didn't know you were going to be here, and Norton told me last night. So it was like... We didn't tell Kenny, because we knew he'd obsess about it all day, and he'd, he would be somewhere else. Right, Kenny? Yeah, I mean, I didn't, still didn't figure out what I was going to do, like, tomorrow when I was supposed to see you. Yeah, that right. was the other thing. He, I told Jimmy, it's going to be awkward for Kenny, too. You got Dice on the show, which I think is great. Uh, and you haven't seen Kenny I think in the many... shows are going to be great. And I you mean, haven't just... seen Kenny in so many years. I'm like, well, that's not that all of a sudden he's showing up not knowing why Dice was mad at him for four years. No, but uh, does it? let me ask you something. To get to get off of uh, Oh, for a minute here. Oh, good. Did, does it make sense what I'm saying to you? Uh, well, I, I never knew the reason. All right, so why didn't you call? No, because, I, like, I knew from past experience. Like, well, you could let it go a little while. See, I, I would get mad, like, let's say after a month or two that we didn't talk, like, why didn't you pick up a phone and go, what's going on here? You know, because I'm also, you know, just for people that might not know, I know most people do know, you know, that we were close for all the years, which means I was, I'm close with your wife, your children. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's not like... I just lost you as a friend. It's, uh, you know, and your wife has always been completely dedicated to you that even when, you know, you, it's funny, when Kenny first went to work for me, you know, uh, I remember Michelle getting me on the phone and going, so, in other words, when he's 80, he'll be walking next to you with a cane? <laughs> I mean, she would, like, think of it that yeah, way, yeah. you know what I mean? And, you know, just really concerned. And then years later, this was a little before it happened, she had me on the phone and, you know, always concerned about our relationship, not like she was out of it. You yeah. know what I mean? She she was always in there, and, you know, so it bothered me because I always thought she was great. Right. I actually just looked at those tapes of the Concord. With the, I would do stare-downs with his wife because nobody could do them like that. <laughs> and and I would say, I was actually showing Eleanor, and I go, I go, she's a cop's wife. That's why she could do it like that. Right. She, and one time she looked right through... One of my ex-wife's friends at a, at a New Year's Eve party. Yeah. Yeah, a, a friend that I just can't fucking stand, <laughs> you know? And uh, Michelle comes in the kitchen and goes, all right, Ken, we got to go. You know, it's like one in the morning already, you know? And this girl comes over all fucked up already, you know? You know, why don't you stay? And Kenny's <laughs> wife, number one, I thought she was going to throw this girl a beating. And she just looked right through her. You know, like, like Doc Holiday in Tombstone. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. looked right through and went, 
I got two kids. I got to take care of six in the morning. Do you? <laughs> and not even looking at Kenny, staring right through this girl, goes, let's go, Ken. Oh, <laughs> oh it was, but, but it was oh. like, let's go before she kicks the shit out of this girl. Yeah. Because yeah. she knew how I felt about that girl. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Was, you know, and your kids, you know, you know, you, you, you lose touch of all that. That's a bad thing. Yeah. You, you know, know what's going on with his, with his kids? I don't know if he talks about it at all. Well, it, you know, a little known fact that when, when my boys were young, Andrew nicknamed my boys Combat and Shootout. And as <laughs> as we speak, no, I know that. Combat is going to Iraq tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, he's leaving. Tomorrow. Oh man. Mm -hmm. He's a cop in the Air Force. Is he real? See, I don't know the whole story. It's hard to pull over a plane. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> See, we do sound effects now. It's fun, right? That was an no, awful that's a heavy joke. Thing. And you know, I just, you know, I just wish him, you know, just health. That's it. You know, I love yeah. you, boys, and that's how I feel about him. Even if I didn't see you, right? You know, I heard about it, and I was like, all right, let's just, you know, I, I pray for your boy. Believe me, I Thank love him. you. Uh, you know the my my sentiments are the same for 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 your boys. You know we all grew up together. I know it's <laughs> on the road. Yeah, yeah. They, do you know he, um, Jeffrey, his his older son? Um, when we did, we went to the Concord many years ago. They, we thought we were going on a vacation, and every high school in the world was there. You know, we just wanted quiet from the concerts. But that's not what I'm getting at. Jeffrey was what two? Yeah, barely walking. <laughs> So all of a sudden, this is how he gets the the the, um, the nickname because he's just walking. We're look, walking in this long hallway, and there's another kid, basically not doing anything. And Jeffrey decided, why not just throw him a beating? <laughs> <laughs> and went running down this long hallway at the Concord Hotel, tackling this kid, and just careening his fist into him, <laughs> and. I was I was amazed at it. I'm going, look at this kid go. Right. And then as time went on and Jeffrey got a little older because, you know, he's a he's a tough he's a tough kid. You know, I, I, he would hit my hand when he was eight years old and it would hurt. He he once nearly beat up Norton in, in Kenny's backyard. Oh yeah. That Norton was like, all right, no, it, uh, all right, I get it. You know, <laughs> and um, but he would tell stories like like his war stories of kids having fights. And this is what's bugging me for a long time, and I couldn't call you to ask you, that me and Max love the speech that Jeffrey gives a kid. He'll always warn the kid. The kid, yeah. he, if 10 guys walk over to Jeffrey, mm -hmm. like let's say he had a problem in school, so now the guy comes like a bully with 10 friends, Jeffrey will calmly look at the kid because one time a kid took off his belt buckle, right? And Jeffrey looks at him, and what, what is the speech? You'll say it better. You know it. You know, it's funny that you bring, I'm trying to remember it too, but Jeffrey would always try to make the other kid realize that he's making a big mistake. <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> and, yeah. and say something like, this is your last warning. Right. You know, the next warning will be you on the ground with my fist just crunching your face <laughs> inside out. It was something like that. And he told us this story in a Chinese restaurant. And me and my son were mesmerized that we started coming up for themes for Fetter. Like it's coming to a movie theater. Mm -hmm. Like this summer, Jeffrey Fetter <laughs> moves to L.A. You know, and you would see like a fist come into view because like there's a lot of kids that go to school in L.A. that are in tough kids that right. want to act tough. And me and my son, Max, always go. What do you think Jeffrey would do to this guy? <laughs> Always. It's a constant. I mean, this is over the last few weeks. I go, are you kidding? Fetter? He would annihilate this part. <laughs> this guy would be retarded. If it, but we look. Coming this summer. Yeah. Fetter. That's a you big know. boy, man. No, is, is he, well, he's last time boy. I saw him, he was like six feet. Is he taller now? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's in shape, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Animal. Yeah, because yeah. when I, when Kenny came to the bar mitzvah, they were training in the gym. They were yeah. in the cage. <laughs> Kenny, yeah. I, I never... he's not as tall as Max. He's Max not as is tall as you, me. right? What about Shootout? He he he's spurting now. Okay, good. He's you know, 
That's so know. funny. We used to love that. That's what I'm saying. All right, so that could be. So we didn't see. We we aired it out. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would say yeah. What's left is just the apology. I love I Anthony. Guess. I would say yes. <laughs> the judge. I would say yes. I guess the, what's left is just the apology from you, and, <laughs> and then everything's good. The the most the, <laughs> the most important thing is that there's uh, no grudges held. What? Remember Tommy and yes, Reggie yes, Bull? Yes, yes, of course. With Salvi. I was well, trying to remember which no, uh, but, but line that was. But that is the most important thing. When you make up, it can't be a fake makeup. No. Throw all grudges out the window. Yeah, that's how it's really got to be. That's it. Mm -hmm. Are anybody's feelings still hurt? For real? Please. Mm, nope. Too much. I'd therapy. like to know if anyone's feelings feeling. are hurt because that, that's what prevents G them from being hurt again. Jimmy, are yours hurt? No, I Guys, feel okay. Actually. Can I get some water? Is that, uh, yeah. Do you have a water glass? I'll get it, Andrew. Of course I Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> just like old times. Oh, wait, I got one. Come on, everybody. Just like... There's one. Oh, no. that, that, that's just the let, just let him get it for you. He, he'll go crazy uh, if he doesn't nuts. let you get him water. You know that, Dice. Dice, uh, the other thing that you need to know is Norton does a little therapy now, and he tries to bring his therapy onto the uh, the show. It's a little weird for uh, everybody. Believe me, nobody knows it, more about therapy than me. He wants, <laughs> he wants us to open up more and, uh, you know, handle yeah. things he is like differently. That. I, I and... realized that yesterday. Really? But, you know, I heard it therapy's great. I heard somebody to walk into a room and lay into for two hours. <laughs> Here's some water for Here's you your 200 today. bucks, oh, you fucking you, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to love therapy when I first went to, you know, it was funny. When I first went to therapy was, was here in New York when my career took off. And I didn't even go to therapy for me. Mm -hmm. I went to therapy to find out how to handle my own parents, if you remember. Because my family was really... Like, more overwhelmed than I was with what was going on with me. And I was like, like, if I went up to my dad's office, it was like a shrine. Like, all I saw was me on the walls. And I complained to my mother going, I can't even go up to my own office and get away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what, I, you know, and that's the reason I even tried to live back in Brooklyn. Because, yeah, on stage, I ha uh, it's a tremendous ego. I say, I'm the greatest. And that's it. And I go out and, and I try to prove that time and time again. Right. But... Off stage, I always tried to stay humble and live back in Brooklyn, and it was kind of an impossibility. I mean, so, some people are very cool. Some people don't get why you're living back there, but I would go to therapy to go, my parents can't handle what I'm going through, you know, and it wound up but just, just sessions of laying into the... So, <laughs> but wasn't no, he just proud? I have to jump in here. No, he... Extremely proud. Right. You know, and actually Without thrilled I'm doing this thing with Norton... No, no, it was all about being proud. My, but, my dad was the same way. I mean, he was my biggest fan, and he was so but it's, proud. But it's also just but, trying... Like, I would actually sit there when my uh, ex-wife would be pregnant with Max, and I would look at my mother and go, Ma, let's talk about her being pregnant. That's a pretty big thing. Yeah. Right, We're right. having a child. You know, they were just that proud. And, you know, uh, you know obviously, you know, I, you know, I became something in this world because of their personalities. But, you know, what I'm saying is I'd go to therapy, and then what you talk about after that is, so you know what the therapist told me? Who really gives a fuck about a therapist's opinion? Because I'd look at this little asshole with his glasses on, go, well, it's your mother. Did the, You know, shut the... Then I'd get defensive to the therapist and go, why don't you shut your fucking mouth about my mother? Let's talk about your fucking mother, okay? Yeah. You And I'd really get angry at the therapist, but then you walk out and you go... You know what he said? Who the fuck is he? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but to anybody that, and I used to love looking at people sitting there when I'd come out because everybody looks at the floor. You know what I mean? I go, what are you here for? <laughs> what, what fucked you up, you little slob? You know? And, <laughs> but, but I think therapy is great. Just I, I will pay just to lay into somebody for a couple hours. Yeah. It's worth it just for that. So fuck them. And that's so, what therapy did for you. That's what therapy is. Gave it's the you, easiest job as a doctor. Gave you a punching bag for a couple Let me make believe hours. I learn about the mind. And yeah. then guys like us walk in there and go, why? And then when you realize they don't have the answer and you're paying them 400 fucking dollars, that's when they learn why you're there. Because you tell them what you think of them and what they look like and how they act and what their fucking lives are. 
Yeah, they don't need any, uh, it's not any concrete thing like a doctor. Hey, I got this. Take care yeah, of it. Yeah, give it's me this the five-day pill. Mm -hmm. It's this vague Give me some fucking, fucking penicillin and get out of my life. <laughs> you seem like a different dice. Well, like, yeah. You, 40 you know, years ago. No, I, In what way? What, what's the deal? Fucking like, uh, Obviously, the divorce was brutal on you. Yeah. Brutal, it, right? It, it, brutal. Is there anything else it's going on? It's not the divorce. It's, I'm telling you, it's the, I make fun of it, but it's the after effects. <laughs> Of, of what goes on you know that's why you know to be honest and, and Kenny would notice too that you know I'm really close with my boys and just really want you know especially when I left to make sure that they grow up you know, and look who's talking without their minds getting messed up mm -hmm. you know what I mean because it's a very confusing time so you know I would look to just work I had no career goal it was more like go out make a living and get home and be with your kids right you know and that's what i've done and they're two incredible human beings you know today you know at you know i got a 13 year old going on 30 because they had to learn the hard way you know they you know they say never put the kids in the middle but that's what goes on i mean you know the therapist would say you don't put kids in the middle but in reality you can't help but do that especially if one or both parties you know are doing the wrong thing you could only keep them out of it for so long mm -hmm. Not a huge you know so yeah you do you. change in certain ways you know I went through another relationship you know uh, got engaged for the minute you know how oh, that wow. shit goes and me <sighs> no no he didn't get I got married, married once and, and that was it, it. no yeah, more that was engagement hard I remember talking to you with yeah. that stuff no engagement no nothing I, I lay it right on the line I'm not getting married it, it just ain't gonna happen you got a girlfriend ever again you got a girlfriend? Uh, right now, no. Now, I, un I yes, understand you like went it. through some I got, stuff. What? Yeah, I got, I got a girlfriend now. The, well, he's a uh, traffic girl. He's going on a date with a traffic girl today from TV. <laughs> Fucking meet a maid. <laughs> uh, no, not that kind of traffic girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the meet a maid. on fucking earth. Oh, I hate him. Uh, meet a maid. Now we could finally agree on something. Hate him. <laughs> She's on the news. Yeah. She does the traffic yeah. on the news. On the news. Tra Lovely. Traffic victim. Oh, a traffic girl, like a helicopter chick. Yeah, she used to be in the helicopter. They okay. brought her into the studio now. She was too hot for the child. So she's on the news here? Yeah, yeah. Channel 11. Big yeah. chat, huh? She's Look at you now. You want to see her parents? She's very dating celebrities. Let me see her picture. Nice. On one of these big screens. How much are you going to film with the camera? How much do you think I needed this? <laughs> Bring it do it all here. day. Bring me the camera. <laughs> all day long. Steve, you remember Dice? I do. What's going on? Hey, Dice. Oh, he's putting up the the good pictures. Oh, yeah. Well, well, let me see. Where is she? No, these are the good pictures. This uh oh. Is, and it's going on a date this with this girl. Before, uh, yeah, that was before oh, the traffic the, career, I think. Can I see it on it? Can I see it Wait, here? We're, no, we're getting it up there. So there what? you go. And it's going out with that tonight. She's lovely. So she does the traffic naked? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what... <laughs> they should. That the... And she's on regular network? Yeah, on Channel 11. Yeah. And so what's she posing here? Uh, Playboy. Old Playboy. Mean. Atsoi. Atsoi. Atsoi, yeah. Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm getting to see what you might be banging. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting just going, to me. Just going out to dinner. Show the chair tonight. shot. If she could do this, you'd think it's just dinner and, you know, what are, you, what are your hobbies? <laughs> it's, we're just going out to dinner. Have a couple of drinks. Can't you just say, can't you just do, can I take some pictures like they did? <laughs> <laughs> can I take some pictures? Like they did. They, they, you go, look at her fucking lips down here. This I is don't beautiful. Think, I don't think so. I think, you What's know. What's her name? Jill. Jill, maybe she'd like me more than you. Can nice. I go you're out not, with her too? What are you blocking me here? You cock yeah. blocker? Yeah, why not? What do I care? What's that about? We True. haven't been friends for four years. I got to care. Now, in two, in two <laughs> no, years, no, I'm, I'm going to be really I'm pissed teasing. off. <laughs> yeah, if you really fall in love with her. You <laughs> could fall in love with a girl like that, right? Dude, you're all oh, oh, love. When you Google search Jill Nicolini and, and go images, Anthony comes up. Yeah, why does my picture <laughs> come that. up? I saw like uh, my kid picture came yeah. up. She's a good looking chick. I'll oh, tell yeah. you that right now. She's lovely. Why the hell is that picture coming up? I don't know. Well, that's strange. All right, well, I like that she, she still keeps some box hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, don't you like a little bit? 
A little, you know, for the finger bang, so you can wipe your fingers off when you're done. <laughs> let's say, let's say you're finger banging oh, her. Shit. No, let's say you're finger banging her, right? And all of a sudden the doorbell rings and your friend's there. So you just wipe it off on her so you could shake his hand. <laughs> you know, you know that I, your fingers are uh, dripping with whatever they do. I whatever must... shit comes out of there. <laughs> As you get older, it seems like every fucking thing comes out of there with them. <laughs> You know what I mean? I got to tell you, I've never heard that one before. I heard what well, one? You, you use it just in case your friend's at the door. <laughs> well, what? What? You're going to shake his hand? No, that's rude. No, that's and, rude. No I, I understand, but... You know, was was breaking into her box. I would just think maybe you'd use your pants or something no, else. No, but... it's it's I go 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 shampoo it now. <laughs> just enough there to to wipe your yeah, finger. Yeah, exactly. Off. That's a class okay. thing. All right, that's I like good. That. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, why not? What are you? What else are you gonna do with it? That's what it's there for. If you didn't figure it out, <laughs> Fair, I didn't. Thank God. See, thank God this happened. So, so you live and learn. Even with your dick. Yeah. So you're banging her, right? An actual bang. You know what I mean? Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. And you wipe it off for a minute. What do you want? You want to get the stains in your beige pants? No, you no. You wipe it off on a fucking bike. Go do something with it already. <laughs> you know, dust off the furniture while I go answer the door. <sighs> nice girl, though. I like her. Oh, so, well, yeah. Well, I, I know you weren't talking about her in no, particular. Not her, no, but, but what I'm saying is she left some there in case. <laughs> right. She's a thinker is what I'm saying. Exactly. You know what I mean? She's yeah. going, he might need box hair. <laughs> I don't know. You know I what don't I mean? Know. I don't know if she's saying that. Every girl says that. This yeah. is 2008. I'm just looking. You know to, what I mean? It's not years ago. If it was, would she be posing anywhere? But on your your mouth. Well, I'm you know just what I mean? dice. All I'm looking for is some nice conversation, a nice no, it's dinner, it out, never is. some drinks. And if that's, that's all, all she's looking for, why why is it up on a on a 25 inch screen? <laughs> going, look at this, look at this selling point. Because she's a beautiful girl, and then decided, you know, I'm not saying uh, she's not, and I don't disagree with what she's done. Mm -hmm. You look at that and go, okay, it's everything I need. Tits, a box, and box here for wiping my hands off. <laughs> See, we learned something. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know a lot something. about these things. Well, it's uh, what I he, study. He always has, yeah. Yeah. I've always been a, a master of that. Hey, Dice, did we say anything today that we're going to find out about four years from now? <laughs> no, no. I'm, right, I'm good. good. All right. That's good to know. You know what I mean? So we got that You laid back. You relaxed. I like it. Everybody good? You good? Huh. No, oh, Jesus. I was waiting for the apology. I'm very good. Yeah. Norton. Yeah, I feel great. I, I saw a different Norton last night when he called me. No, up. you know what? When I, I met like, with wow, Norton, Norton, was, we... Nor Norton was affected by his uh, lunch with Dice yesterday. That's what I got out of that. No, because it was a very we... serious talk we had. I, like, I, what's going That's what he's It really me. bothers Norton that we we haven't spoken, that, that there's like different camps, and, and it really shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. You know, and I agreed with him. That's why I said, you know, because he didn't think I'd come up here, and I go, I'll go up there in a second. What do I care? As long as everybody's going to talk and it's mm -hmm. not just, you know, about, you know, destruction, you know, that's that's all I cared about. But I was yeah. like, if that's what it is, all right, it'll be one visit, you know. But it's not. This is good. Silence. You like that, right? Yeah, I love that. I, I saw that. When I we used to talk eye. on the air and it would just go to silence. Silence. And you would say, I, I forgot what you would say with that. You would, well, like, uh, it would, like, be a lot of silence. Yeah. Dead air. Dead air. Fired. Nothing funnier we didn't have than the, silence. We didn't have a lot of material back then. Dead air. <laughs> Dead no, air was, for that, the DJ. And I'm on the phone, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I go, why is everybody quiet? <laughs> yeah, uh, that was because we were messing with you. The silent know, game, right. yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I don't, like I don't know how to mess. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, what is my real nickname? Kenny. Wait. Uh, what did on. Robert Santa name me years ago? Um... <laughs> the you, oh yeah, the, tell the, him. the effect master. The effect master. Effects. Yeah. Not effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody knows the how to effect master. more than me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He convinced this guy he was Superman and was going to fly by his window. And... No, that was Dennis. Oh. That was Dennis Arthur. <laughs> Superman. Yeah. He called. I call him up. I was bored to tears. You know, 
This is like 1988, mm -hmm. so he's only my agent for a minute, right? So um, at that time, my ex was not my ex, so she's on the other phone. I go, all right, let's have some fun, right? So I get the agent on the phone, and I'm like, uh, yeah, how you doing, Dennis? You know, And he'd always hear me in a good mood, you know. He goes, you're right. Ah. I just had a fight with her, you know. You know, you think you go with a girl, you could tell them some things about yourself and it'll be all right. She's she's inside laughing at me, <laughs> you know. He goes, well, what's the matter? You know, I go, you won't get it, you know, and, and if I told you, you're going to laugh and then I'll get aggravated. And he goes, no, man, I mean, uh, you could tell me anything. <laughs> I go, I, I, I really can't, Dennis, because you're just not going to fucking get it, okay? And I'm really upset from this. Okay, and I start to like cry a little on the phone. He's going, calm down, man. You can talk to me. I'm not just an agent, you know. So I go, all right, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, you know, <laughs> and, and I just want you to hear it, you know, and not many people in my life know this about me. And he goes, tell me. Tell me what she's laughing at, because if you want, I'll talk to her. I I'm Superman. <laughs> so now it's quiet. <laughs> and I go, see, you don't believe me. Nobody but. And he goes, well, I think you're a super guy. <laughs> I go, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm Superman. I'm the real Superman. Okay. He goes, so like you could lift heavy things. I go, yeah. Like I go, it's not like you see on TV, but yeah, I could fly. I could, you know, I could do. <laughs> I, could fly. I could do whatever the fuck you need to do. I go. The reason I don't fly a lot because I don't want to be caught by the radar and have to go back to my fucking planet. So he goes, oh, so you could, you could fly here and come visit me right now. I go, yeah, if you want. I go, not a problem. I could be there in three minutes. You know, I'm in L.A. <laughs> and he goes, okay, I want you to do that. I go, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm only doing it because I love you. I'm going to fly to New York. I go, you know what floor you were on in your building. Open your window. I'm going to wave to you. And then I'm going to come back to I pick up the phone, and you'll know I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> so now that's a little quiet. And he's going, so you're going to be outside my window, like with the, with the red, you know, suit? I go, no, I, I don't need the suit. That's just TV shit. I just fly. And I fly at the speed of light. Nobody's going to see it, okay? All right, the window's open. And I said... You know what, then? I said, I, I just got to tell you, you know, only because I do care about you, Ready? I go, it's very shocking when you see Superman. I go, and I'm just warning you. I go, see, this is what I mean. I've This has happened before. There's a slight chance you might get a heart attack because you're not going to believe what you're actually seeing because it's really un an unbelievable thing. So now he's like, I could get a heart attack. <laughs> I go, yeah, that's the only thing. See, that's why I, I didn't want to have to prove it. I'd rather you just... But, so, in other words, you'll be outside my window 50 floors up, and I'm going to die to see that? I, I can't risk that. So now he's all fucked up, and I just hang up on him and never told him the truth. <laughs> That's an effect. <laughs> Do you think he waited? I made this guy, Robert, my friend Robert, who named me the effects master, believe there was a two-inch girl in his dresser drawer <laughs> waiting to meet him. And if he likes her, I'll blow her up for him. <laughs> because I'm on the phone with him. It was raining outside. I'm in L.A. He's in New York. This right. is how it happened. And he goes, you know what I could use? I wish I had, like, a beautiful, like, brunette right now. It's a rainy day. I go, okay, done. You know? And he goes, what do you mean, Dunn? I go, look out your window. If you like her, I'll put her in the house, you know. He goes, what do you mean, look out my... I go, look out your window. It's raining. She's getting wet. He goes, what are you talking about? I go, Robert, you just said to me, you want a beautiful brunette. Mm -hmm. I can do those things. So she's right there. Take a look. I'll put it... He goes, Andrew, I'm not getting up and looking out. How the fuck would that be a girl outside? Now he's getting me... He's a Brooklyn guy, you know. He's going, how the fuck did you get a girl outside my... I go, Robert... You asked for it. I didn't ask to do it. It's something you want, something I could fucking do. Look out. I go, where do you want her? She's getting fucked. I go, you know what? Just open up your closet door. You know? I go, she's standing there. Get some towels. Dry her off. You're going to love her. I promise. 
He goes, Andrew, I'm not getting out of my fucking bed. I don't know what the fuck you do, because the guy didn't know me well. He goes, I don't know what kind of fucking game you're playing with me. I go, well, what do you want me to do with this fucking girl? It's too late. You asked for her. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid of a girl? He goes, no. How the fuck is there a girl in my closet? <laughs> he goes, you're 3,000 miles. He's actually fucking fuming. I go, all right, this is what I'll do. Just open up your dresser drawer. She's sitting on your underwear. I go, she's only two inches now, so you don't have to be afraid. And if you like her, I'll just blow her up to full size, and you can fuck her eyeballs out, whatever you want to do with her, okay? Have a good time. For you. He goes, Andrew, I'm not opening the drawer. If I open the drawer and there's a little fucking girl there, I'm not going to know what to do. So that's when I get to laugh, and that's when I get to enjoy my time destroying somebody's mind like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And after that, he named me the effects master. There you go. And there have been many since then. But why wouldn't he I, just say, no, there's not? Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not what? A girl there. Because he wouldn't look. Because if by some chance, I'm so committed to it, <laughs> that if by some chance there's a two-inch girl in your drawer, you're either going to freak out. You're insane. Or eat her. You're insane. <laughs> just swallow her and forget it happened. <laughs> you're insane. Yeah. Yeah. Did you swallow ever do her. an effect like that? Uh, hmm. no. I th All right, so now I ask the jury. You're insane. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Arthur Kirkland, <laughs> and I am the defending de attorney for the defendant, <laughs> Jim Norton. When did I get mad? What happened? You're on the witness stand. Though, me? Friend. Yeah. Why when me? did I get mad about the Max thing? Um, I don't know. All right, let me ask you this question. Did it happen at the time it happened? Mm, I didn't feel like it, it was. It wasn't really discussed, right? Other than when I came up I the day before the go honestly okay. don't so, remember. I, I, I swear to you, I don't remember that okay. we ever discussed the Max thing. That's right. That's the and, God's honest truth. And we stayed friends. I thought so. For a couple of years. Um, well, when was that Garden Show, Kenny? 99? October 2000. It was game five right. of the Mets-Yankees right. World Series we, uh, on a Thursday okay. night. So okay. we were friends a uh, uh, couple wow. years before that happened, right? Two more years, and then some of the time I was, uh, we were off the air. And then it was the attack. When we got back on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Then I attacked. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. That one I got to think about for a while. It was an effect. Uh, you I, see what I mean? The effect was See, that when I thought we were effect, real friends. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I and I and I truly like you. Okay. Yeah, but that's mental. But, no, it's an effect. No, it's mental. And that's mental. And you went nuts about it, right? You went nuts back though. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm. I fueled it. And I'm, I fueled the and effect. I, and I affect you back. See, see the stories I just told you now, about now, Robert now and about it. Dennis. Now Wait you're it. That's fine. We, I can we, handle an effect. We'll, we'll do an effect like tag thing. Now you're it. That, that's fine. That's mental. I like that he's because so then the new he's effect. insane. This guy is insane. <laughs> I love when I drive him nuts. You're I insane. really do. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm fucking I'm insane. Donnie, wise guy always carries his money in a wallet. <laughs> Never in a wallet. All right. So <laughs> Nikki was a rat yeah. because Sonny Black said Nikki, Nikki was, a, was rat. a rat because Sonny Black said so. Kenny, he's got the memory. You got the I can't. I can't the memory do. You see Annette? You see Annette? <laughs> this guy Annette's a good woman. Four years. I can't uh, do I'm right by little. Annette. <laughs> oh I can't do right by Annette. I bet on a horse. That horse don't do what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That and every other fucking thing in my life. <laughs> thing. <laughs> we have only ten minutes left, and they're going to turn off it? the computer. Yeah. yeah you they... want to talk about more effects? No, it's time. Elvis. I, I love it. It's tired. This always happens with him, where it gets to the point he goes, "You're nuts." It's, it's like the raging bull. You're really nuts. Yeah. You're crazy. I do, but I do enjoy that about you. Yeah, but you, yeah, you're you on the radio, things, you right? You make things interesting. That's yeah, for sure. exactly. And why do you think Kenny but likes with, me? But not with it's real, interesting. But not with real life stuff. You should have like. Uh, you should. No, liked I was actually angry about that. It wasn't an effect, but you know, the things with Robert. What? <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll summarize by under, uh, saying I completely understand when it comes to family, especially That's kids. right, and I'm very serious yet, about but that. But I, I know family, and I, and I understand that, but just how... But you, that's why you don't understand it, because you don't have them yet. It's a whole yeah, different but, animal. But no. years later, that's crazy. It's not crazy if it's what you need to do. Mm. It's just like here. Mm. You're going to go get married. 
Mm-hmm. Day one is going to be fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, and then then it starts falling apart after the honeymoon, <laughs> right? Anthony, back me up on this. Mm. Okay. No, he uh, he was crying. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sure your fiance my, loves me sorry. already if she's listening. No, I said I had she, tears of pain and frustration rolling out the corner of my eye. Honeymoon night. No, but this is what happens. Yes. Dude, I wouldn't get married if I didn't think it was going to, you know, be The key word that is we'll, think. We'll stay happy and, and, and good. Look, I wish you all the luck in the world with that. I'm not I'm not even kidding about that. I know I know what it is, you know, to be in love. I know what it is You'll when it falls married. apart. You'll probably get married again. We'll see what happens. You almost got engaged or you were engaged. That yeah, means Yeah, but I do things nothing. to keep it exciting. But that's crazy talk. But it's not crazy talk. You got engaged for what? For the goof? No, not for the goof. Okay, so what? It was an impulse. It was fun. But if you don't believe in the marriage <laughs> thing, why would you do that? I do believe in marriage. So, well, I believe in it. It, ex- it exists, all right? <laughs> it's very hard to destroy. No, but what I'm saying is if you're in a, in a marriage that isn't working out all of a sudden, right. sometimes it takes years, even in a regular relationship, years Till it does finally end. Mm-hmm. So, so here comes animosity. Here comes depression, you gotta be frustration. Miserable. Then you have like a good few weeks or a good couple months or maybe even a good year together, and then it starts falling apart again. And sooner or later, it ends. So, what what I'm bringing out is sometimes what you're feeling at the moment doesn't come out for a few years, just like the thing with Max. So, yeah, I tried to ignore it to right. a certain point, and then it came out. Mm. Because he is my kid, and I do yeah, love him, I, I and I do protect them. You know what I mean? But I'm so, not a chick. And, 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 when, <laughs> and when, when you, you don't understand that because you don't have kids yet, but when you do, it becomes a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you're just protective. It's your, your their life. You are who, especially in this fucking world today where parents aren't bringing up kids and taking care of their kids the right way. That you got a bunch of fucking dummies out there. I'm making sure that my kids grow up knowing what to do with their lives and guiding them, actually guiding them, rather than going, just go see what happens. Right. You know what I mean? Every kid, in not every kid, but all I hear are the stories. You know, uh, my son didn't go to his prom because he goes, Dad, all they're going to do, which he sees every day, drinking, you know, getting stoned. He doesn't even want to deal with that. If there was a girl he liked in school. Thought she was the greatest thing. He went to a party. He goes, Dad, she was so drunk, she sickened me. You know, and just didn't want to deal. He doesn't want to deal. Like, we're not living in a day and age also where you could just, you know, stick it in everything you fucking meet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he wants a nice girl. He doesn't want some pig that's just going to be, you know, do filthy things for him. Right. Let him meet a nice girl that'll do filthy things. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean? So well, you try you try to guide well, your kid. What's the definition of a nice girl? She doesn't take it in to shit her? <laughs> Kenny's bonding with dice. Then what's your memory? What, you why mosquito? does that bother you? If we're making up, wait a minute. If we're making I'm up, making why jokes. can't I make up with he's, Kenny? He's a I'm little worried. Jokes. He's a little worried that, you know, no, Kenny's going to be Mike like... No, not. Mike Cole already said he'll pick me up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right here. I'm serious. <laughs> you need to see it. <laughs> Mike uh, sees an opportunity. He's jumping on it. Now, I, I do have to ask you this. You swear that you weren't part of uh, the Howard uh, dead dad jokes. It's not my thing. Okay. Because a lot of not. people are calling me out. And I'm like, dude, he did. He was part of that. I know you were was there I that Was I sitting day. there? Yes. No, I know that much. I tried. Number one, I didn't even think it was about you. I thought it was because I, I was defending man cow at that moment. And I'll be honest, because a lot of people are saying, well, play the audio. You know, this is this is going. You know what? I, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. This is way bigger than radio. What's going on today? And I can't I I, I personally can't hear that shit. Well, that's and I don't want to hear that shit. So I got it. I got to take your word for it that you weren't part of that shit. Because that's a well, you one. know what? That's something I would swear to as far as remembering. Right. You know, because I just know me. I know me really well. I know when I'm fucking around. I know when I'm serious. You know, and that's just not where I go. You I'll were, say anything about you. I'll say if I'm mad at you. You were extremely mm-hmm. angry that day, and you were definitely taking shots. I still your shots. wouldn't go there. And then, and then Dice was definitely. Uh, I don't go uh, there. Dice, sorry, sorry. Howard was uh, doing his, you know, his his dead dad jokes, which is hilarious because he'll lose his dad someday, and then he'll maybe understand exactly what that's about. Not that I wish that upon anyone, and I'm being honest. That's why I don't know. No, but that's why what I'm saying. There, but... but you see, I'm even looking at your face when you say, I would never go there. I tried getting you on the phone for a long I felt sick 
mm-hmm. when when I heard that news. Right. You know, and I knew you didn't want to talk to anybody. And I, you know, Pete. Well, that's what, that's one of the things that I, I I wish I handled differently. I wish I had reached out no, to but a lot of I people. I wasn't mad about that it. Time, I, but I shut out every, I shut out everyone. Understandably, you know, I can't even joke about it now, and I wouldn't, and I never would. It's just not who I am. It's not who I am as an angry comic. It's not who I am as a person. You know, I you know, like I said, when you have kids, you got to look them in the eye. I don't. I could look them in the eye because I know nothing I do is wrong. From my stand up to who I am as a man to who I am as a father. I don't do the wrong thing. If I would have said something like that about you, I couldn't look at them. That's right. a, that's how it is, you know. And that's what it means to me. So I know you were taking your shots at, at yeah, me but, personally. But, I know, took my shots I, at if, you personally. You know, calling somebody you know, a hack or saying they're not talented. I, Are you on the radio every day? Um, but this is what I'm saying. You oh. wouldn't be on the radio if you weren't <laughs> doing a good job. That's it. That's the bottom line. Even if I didn't like what you did, okay. But I was just taking shots because I'm angry. Just like I fought with Howard all the years. It was way worse. It was awful what we would say about each other. We made up. That's it. Because we both really like each other personally. And that's what it comes down to. And that's what Norton was bringing out yesterday. That, you know, all this bullshit, you know, fighting with, uh, uh, you know, comics fighting with comics, uh, you know, talk show guys fighting with talk show. It's all bullshit stuff when, when all we should really be concentrating on is the job of making people laugh. See, people, uh, the fans don't understand what it takes to make them laugh. You know, and if you're just walking around with real anger, you can't make anybody laugh. Mm-hmm. I love going up and just seeing crowds rock back and forth in laughter, you know, which is, you know, why, you know, I'm excited about doing this thing with Norton that. He wanted me for this thing. HBO wanted me for this thing, you know. And filming tomorrow you, and Thursday. Right? You know, yeah. they, you know, actually, they looked at it like I'm doing a favor to me to walk out in front of the country and make them laugh is not a favor. It's it's my pleasure mm-hmm. because also on shows like this, this is not about money. This isn't about doing a gig where big paydays. They basically pay nothing for these shows. This is about the love of performing and. You know, I started to love it again about three years ago to be on stage again and really make people laugh. And even, you know, the fact that we did go through it, I don't like that, you know, but I felt I had to be honorable to my own son. We, and that was it. I, I respect that part of it. We uh, we come from a, a very similar place. Like I was, uh, you don't know shit about me in the last four years. I've, I've grown as a person. Jimmy knows probably more than anyone. I'm not as angry as I used to be. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this again. A lot of fun. So you understand what I mean? I, don't, I, I didn't have... I didn't have a lot of fun at the end of the NEW run. I don't know if it was the pressure. I don't know if it was what yeah, was going and on. And we were close then, and I saw what you went I don't through. know if I, uh, I... I was miserable in my personal life. I, I don't know if the pressure of what Ant and I were doing on a daily basis was getting to me. I wasn't having fun. I'm you having know a what? ball now. and it, it, I But think... you were miserable because our conversations off the air... Oh, yeah, you probably you knew were... more than most. I, no, I I'm mean... saying what you were talking about back then. You were You were absorbed. In the misery, yeah, you know, and Absolutely. that's one talk. And you know, at that time, I was absorbed in misery too. So, it, you know, all of a sudden, if you really got something going on, if you really have that funny bone, it comes back, mm-hmm. and you start enjoying being in front of the audiences. That was a time I didn't like being in front of them because I was so unhappy, you know. So it's like uh, I got to go up. They can't know that I, you know, they right. want to let. Now you put on the face. You know, and I, you, I've been and, and destroying. The way the way I always did because the Olive Gardens I'm, across I'm, America. Yeah, that's right. Because I'm happy doing it again, you know. And that's where new material comes into right. play, and you know that's where you know the delivery comes into play, and and the audience is really. I went on at that uh, the comedy cellar last night. Just so much fun just to be up there. Small little place, great, great yeah, fucking we, we club. Well, yeah, sure. You know, you've been there, right? You, yes. you know what I'm talking. And and I went on after Norton, and it just. You know, they just want to laugh today, people, you know, with with right. everything going on. And and I just felt good being up there and making them laugh the way I did. Uh-oh, you know, this, and making... This is music that's going to knock they off the computer. The computer okay. shut us off. I, I do have okay. to say really fast, line of the day, we're not doing it today, brought to you by Three Doors Down with over 12 million albums sold worldwide and eight number one singles. They're back with a new album available everywhere today. 
Uh, this self-titled album includes the number one hit single, It's Not My Time, on sale at Best Buy for only $9.99. I guess we have to say to be continued, my friend. To be continued. To be I'm continued. glad that came up, really. All right. You know, glad you did too. Absolutely. No animosity from this side of the I, table. I, I, no. I respect the fact that he came up no. today. Absolutely, man. And you guys have a good taping tomorrow and Thursday. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. And uh, I'm very tired and I kind of have to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, the yeah, last word is to you today. Excuse me? Last word is to you. I I just can't get over the love in the room. No, he means it though. He that's how Kenny does it, you know. Can we agree to hate him? At least? <laughs> uh, but I don't hate him, and I'm, and I'm glad I came up I'm here. And that's all. Absolutely, Andrew and I'm glad Dice to Clay see everyone. you guys. Okay. Yes. I got a little choked up Dice. at one point, what slightly. Part? What part? Aww. When he was talking about Kenny's sons. Yeah, Very absolutely. Nice. There were some tears in the room. Very nice. All right. Jesus, thank you. Let me see how you joke about it. I was serious. Was. I know he's serious. There yeah. was a, that, uh, that yeah. wasn't a joke that time. All right. I, I do You'll real moments. I do are. real moments now on the show. I do. I know. I know. And I know how sensitive you are. Uh, well, thanks. I do. You are. So That's are what you. we talked about it. Yeah. I know. I'll admit it. All right. You're more sensitive, though. Yeah. Who else cried on Arsenio? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and a little more crazy than me. A, a lot more. Yeah. All right. Good. That's good enough. A little more. I'll be flying by your office in three minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with little people in the drawer. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if you were making 500 a week, he would have tolerated the conversation. <laughs> it wasn't the two million a, a month. And he wanted us to believe that the guy <laughs> believed. I'm like, okay. I believe, I'll believe you're that the super guy. guy. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll see you guys right. soon. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.